want to see this dude full time in jail. Not much. I, I came in up, like mid sentence, so I have know. no idea. Uh, I'll sum it up for you. Uh, ben has a song that reminds him of Dr. Doom's characters in this game. Gotcha. Uh, just like the way he, just like the voice he used, and the, like and the way he plays. No. And you really enjoyed that game too, didn't you, Drew? Which one? Death and Taxes. Yeah, that was fun. Where is it? How did you? Put it's it? in the general chat of her Discord. It's uh, yeah, it's actually a song. It's like a, it's like a song by this YouTuber. It's like about death and taxes. The game. Let me go see. <coughs> like just from the first like line of dialogue of, of like have lyrics, it's like yeah, I don't know, it just reminds me of. You're very quiet. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit quiet there, Danny. What's happening, Jar? Bazzy. Let's see, I got the three, so take an action dot when full. <laughs> this song is awesome and it Isn't does it? represent it does represent my uh corporate malevolence. Yeah, doesn't it? I was just thinking about like it's just it fits your character like the just the voice he even uses in the song reminds me of how you of how you played uh the, the dude in the last game. Clifford? Yeah, Clifford. It's just That was a fun game. That was a fun game. I'm here before seven. <laughs> <laughs> The song we're talking about, guys, is in the general chat. And I just, yeah, I just heard the song, and I thought it always reminds me of Clifford whenever we're playing these games. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> oh look, it's wow. seven. Yeah, it's oh. seven, and and everybody is here and. On time. This is Isn't that nuts? It, like, actually, oh, that's not true. Not everybody. Almost everybody. This is a fortuitous omen. This should somehow inf impact the story. The stars we're, we're have aligned. We're all going to die together today. Yep. We all die together. Do, what do yeah, we it, get? It, Reckless? It, it, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. You sure do. Everybody oh my gosh, sure I'm full. It. I'm full. What, what do I get? An, An action dot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so do I. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm gonna have to tinker up to three. Uh, Greewee, since you're not here on time, uh, I have been given... What? I said, well, I mean, you are here on time now, but not normally. Uh, <laughs> I've been giving uh, a reckless XP to everyone, so make sure you mark that on your, uh, on your sheet. You'll be in here for Groovy. At, at three of them, you know, you get uh, this magical thing called uh, an action dot. Yep. Uh, you would need to go to the PDF, which, uh, oh, I guess I didn't fail that. I think it was pinned and then it got un like Yeah, I unpinned yeah. it because it had been there for a while. I can pin it again if you want. Um, yeah. No, stop. Don't tap. <laughs> What did we do last time? Something horrible, I assume. So, Danny, if you look in the... Nothing but good stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Danny, if you look in the Telegram, it's it's the pin message in Telegram. Uh, and all the different magic stuffs are in that Wicked Ones 1.4. Well, I don't um, feel guilty, so I pro I'm probably not. Bumble was bumbling, you know, as you do. Did Bumble roll a bunch of powerful dice? Oh yeah, we mostly we mostly just figured out what the fuck we were gonna do. You wanna look at page yeah. one forty four. We decided to make a real we estate a empire with the, uh... starting with a, a goblin ho a home or a, a monster elderly village. Yes. <laughs> Retirement. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot that goes into that. First, we gotta kick. We gotta get the houses. A bunch of properties around here. No, and once first that we decision need to, was uh, made, uh, take over our territory. All that, that that happened. What what else happened? Yes, we uh, had a bit of a mission. Yeah, yeah. Someone got seduced by a tentacle lady. Oh, I oh my god! By a tentacle lady. I blocked that out. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> just saying. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> I paid good money for that. Some people do pay good money for that. Uh, don't, 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 don't pink shame the rope, okay? Hey, oh, I pay for a lot for of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was Mr. Moneybags. And what, I mean, other than uh, getting a, <clears throat> uh, a nice night, um, there was something else that happened. We visited the incredible yep. Umber Hope. Yep. He became friendly towards us. Or at least friendlier. I mean, he's a... Yeah, we got, we got the tentacle lady's lock of hair. We also uh, planted some seeds in his mind about and made him think that, you know, we could hook him up with his lost love and try to convince him of his civic duty and how... Those bastards, those bastard goody two-shoes didn't give a damn about his retirement plan anyway. They were going to leave him high and dry once he's an old Umber Hulk and he's got nothing to do but go to the Umber home. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Unfortunately, um, I will say that didn't influence his choose a side talk. Uh, I got a success on playing the seeds on that. That was you, part of it. You, we got, you, then we got the hair. We did I'm more. We, we hit him with a one, two, three. I, I am not saying that. What I am saying is his choose a side pocket is not related to the, those. Yeah, didn't we do a dark bargain to get him? Well, we wanted to choose a side because we got his lady. We hooked him up with his lady friend. Mm -hmm. If and that, that didn't if that totally didn't happen. If that didn't affect his two size clock, then I have no idea why we did any of that. Mm. I thought that was like the whole point. So, as I told you, the Umber Hulk is uh, deeply concerned with balance across the land. Uh, your uh, machinations with him uh, may, you know, uh, encourage him to look the other way as the dark factions gain more power. That is not related to his choose a side. His choose a side is related to something else that's happening. Okay. Uh, there's a big event coming uh, that involves some of the largest factions. Yeah, where one says declare war. Fair defense. So are you saying it's a war between merchants and adventurers? I mean, I didn't say it out loud. Well, okay, so he's picking a side between those two factions. There you go. Oh yeah, did we get him laid? Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, he might even be getting married. Um, what what you accomplished is he's not going to interfere with your uh, attempts to, you know, uh, increase the, the strength of the dark factions. Uh, oh yeah, dude. So fuck yeah. I think that's decent enough. Um, yeah, that's lit. Thanks, bro. That was our goal. Yep. Yeah, he's 
Smash that puss, my friend. Have a good time. Have a good life. Have some kids. We'll never see him again. Mm -hmm. That man's freedom is over, yes. Did you meet her? So, uh, yeah, let's go around the, the factions and see what's happening. Um, so the Merchant's Guild, uh, they are slowly getting their d uh, defense prepared. They are slightly behind uh, the Adventurer's Guild, um, who I believe are just three ticks away from declaring war, which means that could happen as soon as next session. Um, the City Watch, they are almost done with conscription. Uh, at they have one tick, so it's certain to happen next session. Um, Brady Bunch, uh, their distribution network is proving harder than they anticipated to, to put together. <laughs> They're only about halfway done. Um, the master plan of the Lollipop Gang is also proving more difficult than they expected. Um, they are slightly more than halfway done. Uh, I think there are four ticks, so uh, that's not happening next session. Uh, but it, you know, almost certainly will two, two sessions from now. Uh, in addition, um, our Gorgon friends, uh, they are trying to gain a tier. They're about halfway there. Uh, and the sitting monks, uh, they've been working to uncover a plot. They have one tick left. Also, there's been some minor updates to the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Let's jump over there. Uh, let's see. So, hopefully, the first thing you notice is I've added our wonderful tier three mirror door lock up here. And we got a nice little bucket of acid sitting above the door. <laughs> Uh, in addition, um, let's see, Danny, I hope you'll be happy to notice that there is a sweet-ass spike swinging log trap down here. Hell yeah, brother, let's fucking go. And then, um, a new, uh, corridor has opened up. Nobody asked for it, but there it is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the, cor the corridor you all didn't ask for, here it is. <laughs> yep. Is that part of exploration that opened that corridor, Garrett, or you just felt like throwing that in there? Uh, or is that the exploration? It's consequence. Yeah, okay. yeah, Well, that's what I mean, yeah, when, when we... Dis discovery, or whatever, yeah, so it opened itself, okay. Yeah, that's... Okay, we gotta move That's why nobody asked for it. <laughs> we gotta move our sanctum now. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah, well, and hopefully you don't get invaded before you can move it. Um... So about that. Yeah, there's a chance of that uh, because we are at rating. And there's a potential for, you know, blowback to be an invasion. So, uh, can you can you move your sanctum? Is that something you can do? You can, you yes. It just takes a, uh, what's it, a build action, downtime action to do it. To do uh, it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying there's a chance that you'll see. Right, I, got you. I just, just want to yeah. know if I could even do that at all. <laughs> yeah, at first I was confused, but um, I think it was uh, Rachel that asked that question uh, the first time, and uh, I dug through the little book, and yes, that's you can move it. That's right. I mean, it makes sense because you should be able to move it around because as your dungeon grows and stuff, you're. I mean, obviously, when the doorway opens right to the fucking up to up stairs that you'd want to move it but you'd probably want to move it anyways even if just as you your dungeon got bigger right you'd probably want to move it at some point indeed for sure so uh we're in reading so let's go back to the map time to do some stuff what do you guys want to do um i will remind you the goal is to I have to say, I, I am not. I doubt this goal. Uh, the goal is to build a retirement community around the new lake of Fendang. Mm. 
I mean, you got to admit, on that lakefront property, it would be pretty sweet retirement for monsters, dude. I mean, should we just rename... They probably go out boating and shit, like monster jet skis and shit. Should we just rename our goal to the retire to making it the, the the empire and then just do the the retirement thing as the first step? That, I mean, even that, when we did the whole goal and social thing, I think real estate empire and building yeah, a retirement I mean, are really the same thing, yeah, right? Because how are we going to build a retirement community if we don't buy up the land and build a bunch of cool shit there? So let's just change the name to building an empire and let's go build a retirement community. And then we'll an empire, the, ger the geriatric empire. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would point out there was a power struggle on the retirement That's what community. I said, one power out, struggle so. to build a retirement community. Yeah, but we as a group can choose to, you know. You can interpret that goal however you like. Mm -hmm. But Empire was was in there in that power struggle and lost. We we voted to merge. I think Ben's trying to hostile takeover. He's been he's been seeding the board with his own cronies for fucking months. <laughs> Both of the guys did. Or, or one or more, the first idea that was mine and the second one was like one that like Polly said in my back. So like they're <laughs> it's literally the same thing to me. <laughs> the same that the whole time. Those are the same thing. <laughs> Yo. Hey, welcome to peace. You're right, it was hey, absolutely peace. stacked in my favor. <laughs> Alright, so we all getting that new Dead Rising game killing some zombies. Plan. I ain't getting no fucking epic bullshit. I hate that oh. fucking dude. That's the worst story I've ever seen. I don't know how anyone buys shit off of that thing. All right. No, I think I'm gonna hold off and wait till it's cheaper. You think they could have just copied Good. Steam? Like, why didn't they just copy Steam instead of making such a suck ass store, dude? Their store sucks. It's pretty basic, yeah. How are you the company that makes the Unreal Engine has millions of dollars and you and you can't make a decent fucking website? I just don't understand. Because they don't care. In any case, we're playing Wicked Ones tonight. So, you, so what, luckily what's it's going not on? on the Epic Store. What's uh, been we, going on? We, yeah, just, yeah. we just okay. finished the recap and we oh, are shit. trying to uh, I'm sorry, I was, trying, what, I was finishing dinner with Ben. No worries. Uh, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do tonight. Uh, I have a proposition. What's that? <laughs> My proposition is that we is deal it like with a rain the outstanding issues that we caused during our last our our, our, uh, our pool adventure. That still hasn't. We still haven't quite tied up all the loose ends there. That's true. Uh, I think we should. You have no. All you have no board. confirmation that the doors actually were all killed. Um, also, or, or the dragon. Or the, or, yeah, or the dragon for that, that part. So, you know, I bet that dragon needs a retirement fucking cave. Why don't we offer, <laughs> why don't we go find the dragon and offer him, since we wrecked his old house, why don't we offer him a retirement cave? I don't think he likes sure us. he'd be happy to work with you. Okay, guys, guys, well, guys, that's what I'm saying. We can make things right, right? We wrecked, but we're like, dude, now that we flooded your old house, you've got lakefront property, we'll dig you out of it. And then blasted it full of steam. Yeah, I mean, now, yeah. It, all this stuff's clean. Back, dude, we're looking to make it right. That's all I'm saying. I mean, okay, look, right. let's, the past is the past. Mistakes were made, okay? That we, had to, we had to break a couple of eggs to make the omelet. We had to bulldoze a couple of fucking houses, exterminate some natives. I mean, you got to do what you got to do when you're making a retirement community. That but is now that quite mag magnanimous of you. Um, I am sure yeah, that the dragon will be receptive to your your approach. We can send him a fruit basket. Or, yeah, a, a guys, candy basket. Why don't we just um, why don't yeah. we like do a score to to frame someone else there? Like we were working for someone. Else. I mean, he saw us though. We were like in there talking to him, yeah, and then we they don't, out. Yeah, but he doesn't know where we live. That was the first time he had met any of us. He, you did tell him where you live. Did we? Remember oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you told him was, yeah, you yeah, there was. To our place. All right. So he needs a new layer, right? So we need to. Anybody. We need to find a new layer for him. That's what we God, need. He's right? got. Uh... All right. We gotta get the dragon. Would you, to would you guys like to gather some information about the dragon? Learn more about that situation, or? 
Sure. I'm, what? I'm fine with just making assumptions because that makes it more fun for me when I get to scatter your expectations. But go Can ahead. I, um... Like, like that's in... why we make the assumptions because it's fun for us too because that way we, I can deny my reality and substitute it, your reality and substitute it with my own. What if my, I... The dragon wants a retirement cave. Hold on. So I have an idea. Can I use my invoke ability to look at the flames to see using uh, using the, the my power of um, looking at the fire like for vision and maybe you I can like figure... scry on him like spy on yeah him? just see see what he's up to maybe I can like observe him doing something you sure can all right give me a roll It didn't roll, sorry. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. Nice! Yeah, that's a crit. Uh, as you gaze into the flames, uh, the scarred, burnt, and soggy dragon, uh, you know, uh, resolves in front of you. Um, because of your, your uh, six there, not the crit yet, but the, just the six, uh, everybody can see this. Uh, in the flames. Uh, your magic is particularly powerful today. Uh, all of you see the dragon deep in a forest. Uh, he's got a patch over one eye. Um, all of his skin is wrinkled and burnt. You know, he's like Freddy Krueger style dragon now. Well, this uh, guy's gonna definitely want to kill us. And he, he seems to be carving your names. Oh in, my god into little effigies and then crushing them one after the other and makes we have to go one. finish him off we have he to kill him he definitely is that what your character him. says just after looking in the flames just like <laughs> freaking out oh, yeah no. and uh with your crit <laughs> you, you know where the dragon is uh the dragon is right here uh just kind of straight south of the really high elf in the forest there Okay, what faction is the dragon? What kind of faction is the dragon? Uh, the this is a, uh, what's it? A red dragon, or well, it was a red dragon. Now he's more of a brown mottled dragon. Uh, but um, yeah, he's he's dark. Okay, cool. I would like to go. Uh, I would like to find out if there is a uh, what what the current adventure uh guild uh bounty on the red dragon is, or if there is one. Ooh. Okay, how do you do that? God, that's dirty, but I like it. But that's dirty. Uh, I mean, we know where he is, too. So what, we're say, what you're saying is that we can offer him a retirement cave or murder him. <laughs> I think we have to murder him, honestly. At the very least, we can make... At the very I mean, least, I feel like at least that way we have world. plan A and plan B, and that's more than we usually have. Usually we just have plan <laughs> B. In the Born. flames, in the, flames the, 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 uh, the dragon rips the head off of a little rope doll. Oh, and it has it. my name. Is it my name? It's it's Corn's name. <laughs> uh, rope, the rope doll. What do you think it is? It's yeah. A little... Oh um, shit. Oh shit. Rope. It's a little noose-headed noose doll. I, I point to that and I go, bro, he's gonna fucking rip your head off. He's not our friend. He's not our friend. My God. I will in my uh, little uh, to do this uh, in my like wizard tower of sorts. I, or my, my alchemist tower, because I got the tower, as we all agreed on that. I will construct a divination device that will allow me to peer at one spot for five seconds. And I choose the board, I will, I li and I will choose the board, the, the, the what's it called, oh, the, the bounty board in the middle of the, of the, of the adventure guild. Okay, give me a roll. It's going to open like a wormhole portal for five seconds, just for me to see it. Uh, five. That's pretty <laughs> good. No, no, there's something wrong with my mouse. <laughs> Currently, the, the the left and right mouse buttons have swapped, and I I, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm dealing with that right now. Um, <laughs> did you switch it to left-handed mode or something? I don't. Oh. I, not on purpose. Uh, I just, <laughs> and there's no button on here to indicate I did. Um. So in your five seconds, you see the bounty board. You can't read a goddamn thing on it. Uh, however, you do see uh, one one uh, was it set of bounties. Uh, it looks like a lot of the monster bounties 
Um, they've all been moved to one side of the board, and they've got a big red X drawn through them. Uh, with your five, you can infer that those bounties have been recalled. Mm, I don't see any pictures of the dragon, though. Oh no, there is one. Okay. But it's it is on, you know, on the uh, it, it's been rescinded. At least that's what you think. I you can't really read them, so. What do you mean by rescinded? Like I like I think that they rejected it, or that I think someone else like, or or like they already claimed it. You you think they may have uh, higher priorities at the moment? Uh oh. Uh -oh. I can, all we gotta all right. All we gotta do is get a dragon to attack the six. I think we just need to go kill him if he, he's wounded. I don't think we can now is the time. Yeah, actually, think making him attack the city is a better idea. If he hates us, why don't we just like tell him we live in the fucking human city and he'll go attack it? But yeah, that's we don't like. Yeah, yeah, we don't. I mean, we're monsters, dude. Let's you know, let's fuck these you dudes lead up. Lead him on a chase to the Adventure Guild city and just have him attack the city. And if one, if the dragon yeah. wins, well, fuck. At least just... we got rid of the Adventurers Guild. Right, tell them all our family lives there and stuff. And that. I, well, I, I, for one, will welcome my new dragon overlord. Who is I'd like to propose one more thing while we're doing this. If we're okay. sending the dragon out of his lair to attack the city, we should loot the dragon's horde while we do that. Sure. Well, that'll get it to chase us for sure, I mean. I just... Point of order. Uh, well, how can you loot it? Well, how can you have him chasing you to a city yeah, while you're looting? Be being, we're being very creative. creative. Uh, I, okay, sorry, sorry. We can get creative, and we can also split up. Uh, however, uh, he knows where you live. Right? You told him. I don't know, we move. <laughs> we'll just, we he'll, I feel like if we make him mad, he'll chase us to the Adventures Guild regardless. Oh, I think he'll chase you. You think he'll chase you. Uh, as you look into the flames, uh, he looks at you and says, Oh yeah, I'll chase you. <laughs> I'm gonna he looks at it as he smashes the rope doll. He says, I would chase you anywhere. I'm gonna get you, bitch. Just you fuckers, wait. If, if only really you really guys really were watching, you would know that I would chase you to the ends of the earth. I'll chase you anytime. You can be my wingman anytime. You can be my hero. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, the dragon will chase us to the city, and if we lead the dragon to the city, I'm sure they'll react. I'm sure it'll become the top priority of that city. We hope. I mean, yeah, if a group of monsters uh, led a dragon towards a human city, I, I, I'm sure the city would react. Yeah. Hmm. See, he framed this like the humans would know it was us. And then we'd have to do the same thing to the city. Then we'd have to lure the adventurers to go to like a dragon to get them killed. And it'd just be the end of cycle. I just think we should go kill the dragon ourselves. We're trying to make up with the hey, dragon. I'd like to find out how strong the dragon is. Dude, it's a fucking dragon. Mm. It's gonna eat, it, eat us. Uh, uh, yeah, how do you do it? I would like to find uh, I, I will. Um. Just fucking ass. I'll, I'll, I'll like go to the nameless Cyclops, like I'll like knock on the door and like go in and just be like, uh, hi, uh, yeah. So we're we're working on your payment. Um, oh, I actually don't know they want that. Never, never mind. I don't know them. I don't even know the nameless Cyclops. I will go to the Gorgons because they're chill. And uh, I'll just be like, hey, uh, you, uh, what, what do you know? What do you know about the dragon? In, in approximately Would, in terms of uh, adventurers, how how strong is the dragon? Uh, the Gorgon says, which dragon? The red one. The red? You mean Schmerg? Yeah, that guy. Schmergleruff. Yes, that one. He lived under the with the uh, with the uh, dwarfs. Schmerg is a young dragon. He is not yet to his full power. Oh, that's so funny, God. Oh, but a dragon God. would destroy you. You should. Take pains not to gain his animosity or ire. Okay, but if you ire and animosity, does that mean make him mad? If the dragon were to hate you, I'm afraid you would have 
very little time on this earth. You should hide underground. Ah. We always knew all of that. That's not. That's not any new. Ah. What I want to know specifically, my specific question is, in in terms of like adventurer, <laughs> if, if we were to compare the uh the dragon die. to an adventurer. To or an adventurer. Adventure. Okay. So uh, because be you got a six, I'll I'll give you the exact mechanical question. He has seven hearts. Oh fuck. So oh, yeah. a bit stronger than. Quote unquote, Ooh, I have an idea. What if we poison him? He's weak, so he'll go after weak prey. Good question. I'd like to find out if the dragon is invincible to poison. No, he's a red dragon. Red dragons have nothing to do with poison. We can just infer that. Probably. That might be monster racist, but... You're so You're racist. Monsters were allowed I, I mean, he's a monster. Uh, I would assume if you know... You know, you're a monster, and if you you are a educated monster, intellectual monster, you would know about a dragon. Uh, yeah, no, you, dragons are susceptible to poison, uh, but they are behemoths. They are huge. Uh, and, um, yeah, but we'll feed yeah. him a poisoned cow. It'll mm. it'll weaken him, and we'll be able to go in and dispatch him. We can classic, sacrifice one of our own. A classic gambit. Yes, Bumble is not a cow. I just, I just want to remind you guys, the last time we had an elaborate plan to slip somebody something into their food or drink, uh, yes. Danny just, like, walked in and blew the whole plan up. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd plan that hard. Let's keep well, it a little loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are... So here's, here's what we should do. We get a cow. Right now. We poison yeah. the cow with crazy oh, mushrooms. Wow. Get them all tripped out. We should eat the mushrooms ourselves. I'm just saying, because why would we give? Why would we give him mushrooms? Because we're gonna trip him out, and we're gonna convince him to be our friend, if you guys are so inclined. Or, I think we should just kill him. But in the fire, you hear the dragon say, "I'll never be your friends again, you ugly." Grah! And he breaks core in half. The little core doll. All right, he needs to die. Uh, there's no. We can't do this. <laughs> he has seven hearts. Maybe we should do something else first, because no. seven hearts is... Is there a clock on that, Garrett? I'll be right back, guys. No, we just, we just is... wanted to know what he was up to. And you know what he's up to. He is... Uh, Getting better to come kill us? He's, he's mm -hmm. ruminating. He seems to be he's stewing in his, his anger. Revenge. Yeah, <laughs> plotting his revenge might be a, a good way to put it. Yeah. Just imagine when he comes to take his revenge and he finds a beautiful new development laid out with a five acre fucking plot of land with his very own cave with all the modern amenities, brand new furnace, uh, a little prison, state of the art cages. Yeah. You seen a kill like that? Buddy, what dragon wouldn't like that, okay? I mean, we're letting this thing go for a steal. I mean, we. Look. We're doing. Oh. We're cutting. We're cutting him a solid. Okay, by doing. We shouldn't really be doing this. But since since we fucked him over before, I think we can make him a pretty good deal here on this cave. I don't think he's Let gonna want it. Let me this cave. Let me. What will it take to get you in this cave, dragon? This is a very. Yeah, I don't know. That's right. What, what do I got to do to get you in this cave today? Right. I don't know that that's a good idea. We ha so oh, I'm sorry. I stepped away for a moment. Is the issue we have to uh, we have to defeat seven hearts? Yeah. I know how to do it. We don't have to. This is a self-inflicted fucking wound here. Like, we could just mm -hmm. go do something else, but we're seemingly fixating on the dragon, so... Oh, yeah, I, I think I know how to do it. You can defeat all the hearts at once if we break his heart. Hearts Ooh. and minds. Hearts so and what minds. If, what if we poison him and just paralyze him with the poison? That must, that, we should be able to do that. The poison of love? Is that what you're saying, Jay? That's what him. I was saying. So we should make a Trojan uh, dragon to convince, to confuse him. Are you saying we should just make a big mechanical dragon for him to have sex with? That's creepy. You came to that conclusion yourself, Rope. <laughs> Thank you know that's just creepy. I didn't think of it. You did. Some, you're gonna have some kind of weird offspring. We're, we're gonna have to build a maze and put it in the maze under our fucking fortress. As Rope says this, he still has the uh, tentacle hickeys on his neck. <laughs> uh, 
tentacle hickeys, eh? I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Oh, hear me out, guys. I got another idea. Hey. Can we just get the dragon laid? We're one for one on that plan. So we're going back well, to the sisters, is what you're saying. Does, does anyone know where a female red dragon's at? Does it have to be a female? I mean, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was about to say, does anyone know what his inclinations are? I mean, does he want... Is he a them, they? The money, power, women, men? He's a the, they. He, he's into whatever. Oh, he's, he's a young um, red dragon. They're wild. We, we can just piggyback on that crit, uh... As you watch him, Corey, uh, you do uh, sense that he's big into money and power, uh, but he also has a burning urge for revenge. Oh no, not revenge. Oh god, not Dude. revenge. That's what we have. He's gonna come take our revenge. We had that so was our found. thing. We were so unique for it. I know. <laughs> Turns out we're not hot shit after all. Not until he beats that shit just out of Fire on it. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Stacey just got home. Alright, so are we gonna get him to chase us to the... Adventure? I'm trying to lead him back to the city, yeah? We could ask the Umber Hulk to help us. We could. The Umber Hulk is quite friendly now. Yeah. And we could explain there's a new dragon on the block. Relation of the the area that we flooded to the dragon. The dragon was chilling underneath there. That, that was that was his cave. Ah, so he escaped from that. I mean, I wouldn't say escapes as as much as was driven out Forced by out. being very badly burned. But yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm back. That's where it was. Welcome back. Some might just say he was in his home. And we, uh, broke through the living room door. I mean, we did fuck his world up. It was our fault. Yeah, I'm not denying that. But, I mean, he's literally got stick figures of us, and he's breaking them over and over again, and he's yelling at us through fire that he shouldn't be able to. I don't think we can do anything but kill him, guys. You know, when all you have is a hammer, every problem is a nail piece. Listen, we're gonna kill it, and we can, you know, take all its body parts and make some loot, and crazy weapons out of. There's, I'm sure there's a I'm market sure there's for dragon teeth. Or, or he can be the guard, the steward, and the guardian of our new retirement community. How would you like to have a dragon guarding your retirement community? Okay, you, you want to feel safe? Crime? You know what? There's no crime. There's barbecues. That's what happens in our community. I will, challenge him to a game of basketball, winner takes I, all. I, I will tell you, um, in in this uh, kingdom, this area, uh, there there aren't any uh, other dragons that you know of. However, we didn't even know of that one until yesterday. So what you're saying is we have to build a mechanical ooh, dragon. Ooh, gotcha. It's a new <laughs> map. Yeah. However, there are rumors ooh. of dragon, red dragons, uh, over here in the Quiet Valley. Which Ooh. is is weeks travel from you know your home, but yeah, just letting you know. I mean, it is a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. Mm -hmm. Is he excited to see you, dear? Oh, you know what? Uh. Before we get completely absorbed into fucking this dragon over or whatever, we're building a mechanical dragon or whatever we're doing. Um, Garrett, do we get downtime to try to break the candy of uh, the three of us that are non-candified? Do we get to spend time to decandify our friends? Uh, you did last time. And I was saying, do we have, is that it, or is that not that phase? Or we have to wait later it, to do it, that again? Uh, you would need uh, to wait later to so, do that. That's oh, fine, yeah, we're not going to get to catch about that. Yeah, we saved your Lord Sprar tomorrow. I completely forgot about I completely forgot that I don't like them anymore. Oh silly me. You don't like the candy people anymore? I used to love them, but I forgot that that was all a sham. Yeah, the addiction was broken. No, not yet. Or, I think we started the ritual, you're right. Yeah, we're one yeah. slice. 
Yeah, we, we got one little bit of pie. So I still love them. Yeah. Once I that, mean, once that ritual is done, though, the, pot, the, the spell will be broken. Oh. Uh, did we completely? Our, our drilling machine is at the bottom of the lake, right? No, it's back in your it. back in your building. Yeah. Back in there. I mean, why don't we? You know, the A team is neutral. We should go to the A team and get a sweet paint job on our drill and see if we can recruit the A team. I feel like we need to recruit people for the coming. Dude, the merchant guild is four. The adventurer guild is four. You know, we're trying to sway. Larry, what if we the, try to level up to two? We are two. I'm not sure what we have to do to become three, but we need to get some. You would one. No, no. You would need to try to set it up. Oh, so okay. get to three. We need to what, Garrett? You would need to complete a raid, which is a uh, exceptionally difficult. Uh, what's it? Um. Uh, okay. Like you just go killing the money. dragon. Uh, Dude, like, apparently everything we do is exceptionally difficult. That well, or we're just exceptionally retarded. But, but yes, yeah. you know, or a bit of both. I yeah, I was know. gonna say a little bit of option A, a little bit of option B. So, yes. Uh, or can delay those, or two things can yeah. be true at once, as they say. Yeah. Um, but no, when um, when you tear up, um, I don't know. It's a, a specific name for the raid. It's a, a looting raid. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the one where you go for money only. I got right. you. I, it's. Um, Pillage, I think, is what it yeah, is. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, certainly if you, you know, were to, uh, you know, take the dra dragon's horde, that would be enough to, to level up, I would say. Yeah, but he's probably going to totally fucking annihilate us. That is also true. If we poison him and then break his heart, I'm telling you. We might be able to drive him to suicide. I mean, I feel like we could pillage the Brady Bunch pretty easy. I don't know. I'm... Pillaging is never easy. <clears throat> well, but I mean, there are two. I mean, it's never easy, but they'd be easy. Because you remember we tried to pillage the Merchant's Guild, which is a four, and that went horribly fucking awry. <laughs> that was a long time ago, but it, that did not go so hot. Right. So I'm just saying, if we pillage someone, at least the Brady Bunch is of equal strength to us. The it Merchant's was... Guild is a four, and they kicked our butthole last time. It, uh, what I would say is it would certainly be less immediately deadly, but it would st it's still going to be harder than a normal raid. Yeah, it's a hard because you're just going for loot. You're just going for gold. I think you get extra gold when you do a pillage, right? Like... Don't you get well? Yeah. You have to look for gold, and you get rolled. Yeah, you have to look for yeah. it, but that's the whole thing. You're not. Your objective is simply to smash and grab. Yeah, maybe. I'm just throwing that out there because they're nearby. They're the closest green that's not fucking level four. I mean, there's the city watch, but the merchant they're attached. The merchant skill always comes out to save them every time we go fuck with the city watch. So. Stupid well, they've got to be wise to us at this point. We've kind of gone to that cookie jar exactly. we've gone down there twice and every time we hit the city watch the merchants are like oh fuck and they send out the fucking i'm sure they... uh, now the brady bunch over there however sitting there on that river just distributing candy well, you know. i mean it is a good spot to take maybe we can somehow capture it eventually Oh, did you guys flood the tunnel? Oh, nice, you did. We we flooded the the cave. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. That's what. Good job, um, guys. That's what led to that's the dragon what? um wanting revenge. I <laughs> couldn't remember if we finished it. Dragon lived down there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we kind of flooded his house, but yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, we had two two characters die. Yeah, during Danny that. and. Yeah. Uh, and and both died. Yep. They died for our sides. To be fair, we didn't know the dragon was there before we drilled the hole, so... I, I was there for that. Was, but I'm just saying, we didn't know he was actually there until we punched through his living room. The dragon yeah. didn't do any damage to anybody, actually. He was just like, what are you guys doing in my living room? We dropped our little drill bit, like, right in. He's like, what are you guys doing? Like, get the fuck out of here. Totally, like, flopped yeah. through the wall. Yeah. Like, he's just sitting there watching TV, eating popcorn, and is like, a little drill machine, like, 
just drops through his living room wall and falls on his couch and when he's like, dude, what oh, the fuck, bro? Dragon, he should be underground anyway, weird. Tell that to Thumbershoud. Tell that to Thumbershoud. Thumbershoud was sad as fuck. He was, he was the neck beard dragon. Oh god, if you'd seen him in the Out of Abyss, his portrait, he is a fat fuck too. He has this big swollen face in his portrait. He is a fat bastard. It's canon. It's it's because the city just sits there and feeds him, and he just sits there <laughs> on his pile, and they just fucking feed fucking bonbons for him. Perfect. And he loves them for it. Wouldn't you? Yeah, he kind of hates them, actually. They're actually trying to. They're trying. They have an egg. They're trying to grow his replacement because he's old and fat. So he's not happy about them. That is a fun game. Yeah, but he's too fat to do anything about it. So what do you guys think? Brady Bunch? Dra I mean, the dragon is obviously probably going to kick our ass, which is probably why everyone's going to say we should do that, because we are basically inclined to do the dumbest thing possible in this game. So yes. does that mean we're just going to go for the dragon because we're idiots? Yes. Why not both? What else are we supposed to do? Caution. <laughs> Let no. me introduce you to the wind. <laughs> Hey, Guys, this is a stone car. Mechanic. It's called the power struggle. Let me, let me introduce you to what I've been told several times now. Play this game like it's a stolen car. Oh, stolen car. Yeah. I say we kill the dragon. Yeah, and then you crash a really expensive vehicle and you go to jail for life. And you just ruin that fucking Aston Martin V12. Okay, I have an idea. C Garrett, can I... um? I guess Tinker bought, like, through some old books to find some sort of, uh, like, is there, like, a way that we could weaken oh, the dragon? a dragon lance. A lance for a dragon, like St. George's lance. That's a great idea. Oh, okay, perfect. Can we make a dragon lance as a group to uh, kill him? Um, you could attempt to do so. That would be uh, probably a tier three project, yeah. All right, so why don't we set that clock up so we have that in our back pocket then? And we could part of we could do a raid to get stuff to make the lance. So we pillage the Brady Bunch and build a dragon lance. Yeah, I like that idea. I'm down with that. All in favor? Sure. Aye. 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 All aye. aye. Just the one eye, though. <laughs> Just the one. Too many eyes, okay. guys. Too many eyes. So, we, all know, we all know you're a cyclops, all right? Uh, so do me uh, do me a solid there, Miss Peace. Okay. I need that tinker roll to, to figure out how to build a dragon lance, if it's even possible. Oh, should I? Is someone better at tinker? I only have one. Oh, it's possible. You asked. It's, it's your go. All right. Sorry, buddy. This is your Can I do game. anything to get more dice here? No, no it's <laughs> gathering information. <laughs> Three. You know, nice. yeah, I feel like a, about a three. Yeah. Oh wait, this is that, oh wait, this is in call. Uh, so with your three, uh, you don't get full information, uh, but you do get some. Uh, to build the dragon lance, you will need to acquire three very powerful magical artifacts. Okay. Uh, it's always three. It's, it's always, always three. three. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, one is is the sword and the stone. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other is a ancient book of magic stories. And the third is, uh, you got a three, so it's a mystery. A child's uh, heart. The oh, third oh. is another magical thingy, my Bob. Yeah, indeed, it is a magical thingy, Bob. Uh, but that's as far as, as you know. Um, and also with the three, unfortunately, you only know where the sword is. And that sword is in a stone in the center of the Adventurer's Guild. Oh shit. Oh, Covert mission. Like, Alright, well, this sounds like it's evolving into a whole new, like, part of the master plan. That's fine. Yeah, but we already have a master plan part that we're doing. Do we want to change the master plan? What's the master plan that I don't we know about? I'm sorry. Do that. Build a retirement community. Yeah, build a retirement community as a stepping stone for... On, on Lake, on Lake, on Lock Fandango. Yeah. 
trying to make a realistic empire starting with a. Well, was that before? Well, I guess. If there's no clock for the dragon to kill us, then ignore the dragon. Because I feel Garrett would have to create a clock. Well, even if there's a clock, we're gonna build the dragon lance because he's got a seven. We probably need a fucking ace up our sleeve, or he's gonna fucking trash everybody, dude. That guy's well, got a bajillion fucking hits. Well, but I, yeah, if we're gonna build it, but you guys just said that. I'm, well, I guess I'm confused. I, I think it would be appropriate. To, to maybe move, build a retirement community to step four and change step, you know, or sorry, to step five and make step three kill the dragon. Because killing the dragon will, I mean, if you have to build a lance for it, it there's going to be at least three or four sessions to, to get to a point where you're ready, right? You know, you got to get to work in front of this feel about how we chose this other thing? We had to stick to the <laughs> thing we chose? I didn't, never said you had to stick to it. I, I don't I the, well that's what I mean like I don't so I guess does that this dragon now wanting to kill us does that that's moving the retirement community to like the back burner is, am I is, is that correct I don't know it feels like the game is usurping us <laughs> the game threw us a curveball or we are usurping it. Well, I mean, if you want to work on the community, but we just might get fucked over down the road by the dragon. He might burn our community to the ground. Oh, how the turns have and tables. I feel like for our master plan, like, we're still only tier two. So I feel like to complete our master plan, we're going to have to be cooler than what we are. We're, like, not that cool. So I still think we should go pillage the Brady Bunch because we, we're just, like, we're going to have a master plan at tier two, like, Dude, the Merchant's Guild is going to come take a shit on us. Well, the, ma the master plan is just, like, a game mechanic. I know, but that's what I'm saying. The, like, yeah, the master plan is what you're trying to go to to sort of seal the... That's, like, your ultimate goal, no, right? No, and I'm just saying, on the master plan I don't know that we can do our ultimate goal, goal at level two, right? Like, can we? Like... I mean, I guess, but... No, no, we're, we're just doing a step on the master plan. That's each, right. Each chapter of the game is like another step on the master plan. At the beginning of the chapter, you pick that step, and that's your goal for, like, the next four or five steps. And then it's different, and then you finish it, and you pick another step on the plan. I mean, that's one way to do it. Also, you can just end the game when you achieve your master plan and start over. I think that's the way some games go, like, if you read the book but it doesn't matter i'm just saying we're tier two so we should pillage somebody and be become tier three all right build. well then i'm down to pillage all right so then at least getting the first part of the lance makes sense for today we we can that's in, it's in the center of the adventures guild hall there's here yeah, yeah there's two other pieces right that's the only one we know where there is there's two other pieces Brady Bunch, or are we going or are we pillaging the adventure no, we're I think we br do Brady Bunch. Yeah, because they're weaker. Adventurer's Guild is tier 4. If we tier up, we might be able to take on the Merchant's Guild and the Adventurer's Guild once we get our big boy pants, but right now we're not strong enough. I agree. So I guess we can't really work on the... Unless we we're at the Brady Bunch, we find a book. It's just a longer-term plan, right? It's just not something we can do this moment, but it's something we're working towards to build the Dragonlance, so... We gotta keep our. We know where one piece is, and we gotta keep our eye out. There. There's still two other pieces out there, which may not. I mean, for all we know, the Brady Bunch has a piece. Who the fuck knows? We don't know where the other two pieces are of their, the two magic thingamabobs. Yeah, maybe we'll find a book or something that'll point us in a direction. I just think we should pillage somebody so we can tear up because we actually haven't. We've done a lot of raids, but for getting parts for the car, for getting. We've never, we, it's been a, well, we, we have, we did a pillage a long time ago, but we haven't just done any good old pillaging. It's been a long time, guys, since we did some good old-fashioned pillaging. Don't you miss the old pillaging? Guys, we've been so much we have so much pillaging. Just taking what you want. What was that, Danny? Oh, yes. Danny, you were super quiet. You might need to up your mic a little bit. Yeah, I heard. Uh, yeah, there's, no, there's not as much pillaging as oh, there there we go. Oh, that's way better. Okay. 
We can fix that. What's your name again? I don't remember you. Erlik. Yeah, <laughs> right. You're you're the definitely not a werewolf. Right. Yeah, the guy who we're supposed to believe is is a is a is a cyclops and not. I'm a, a perfectly normal cyclops. Right. With two eyes. With two eyes. With two eyes. And, and, and definitely not a werewolf. And covered in hair. And claws. And, and I, always I, has I'm some not, shit to I'm do when the, the full problem. moon's out. Like, he's always going out to drink with the lads when the full moon's out. It's weird. Yeah. I don't definitely weird. I don't understand why, why is there a problem. Danny, you're, you're starting there to get isn't a problem. the same feeling you had back when you lived uh, with the nameless Cyclops. I have a request. What, what uh, did I do wrong? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> what was that, uh, Groovy? I have a request. Obviously, we can't do it now, but is it possible you could put our characters and their names maybe at the bottom or the side of this map? I kind of forget people's names and characters and, I, and forget what they look like or who they are, you know? Probably. Uh, isn't that something you can put at the bottom of the screen? It's just a, it's just a setting. Uh, the player names go on the bottom, but uh, as in whatever your roll twenty name is. Huh. But I'll, I'll put you guys over on the very oh. top left. Somebody rolling something? A chat. Uh, uh, no, in chat we're just declaring our allegiance to our characters. For which it stands. I'm corn. For the monster nation of this land. Exactly. This <laughs> so weird. Polyphallus, which is a super weird bird with penises all over it. Yeah. Yep. I don't splorty. Get splorty. <laughs> that's what my brother is calling. Splorty? Yeah, that's what whenever if you notice whatever the, the, the whatever this guy's these guys are talking, they call him Splorty. Splortimer. Let's see, well yeah, I think I think his real name is Splort, and he just called himself Lord Splortimer. <laughs> hmm. But that's the naming convention of the of the of the little minion. Thanks, Garrett. This actually helps hugely for me. No worries. It's a good suggestion. Uh, so, on this map in the very top right, there's all the characters. Gotcha. That's top left, right? You know, the other right. The other right. Even his name is like a werewolf name. <laughs> yeah. This is like an, an evil elf situation. I'm not an evil elf, guys. I'm just an elf. No, I mean like an evil version of the movie Elf, where he like thinks he's an elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he actually was an elf, though. But, like in Disenchanted, the, where he's he's like not actually an elf. Exactly. <laughs> so if we're gonna go on a raid tonight, uh, to the Brady Bunch, do we want to do any gather information to see what kind of goodies they have? Yeah. We want to gather information to see what kind of weaknesses they got. They're, they're complacent. Uh, let me answer just a few questions before you ask. Good. They have guards. Damn. Oh. Uh, there are no secret entrances into their town. Son of a bitch. Okay, I want to do some. We can make an sure. entrance. We have a drill. <laughs> we do. But they are near the water. No problem, though. guys. We never have to worry about entrances. We have an entrance. We can always make our own. Is it quiet? No. <laughs> Who said anything about needing to be quiet at this but it sure, stage? It sure does make a message. 
Or what if we drill up underneath the guards, like where the guards are, and we, we ambush the guards by like popping out, like coming up straight up vertically, like burrowing out. Like they'd probably be like, what the fuck's going on? And like, boom, all of a sudden we throw up in the hatch and fucking ambush the guards. We can turn the Brady Bunch's house into a water park by flooding them down the Ooh. Well, they're technically already kind of flooded. They live on the river. That's true. Then all we need to do is destroy the connection between the uh, the cliff face and the stone. Make it fall what in. What we need to do is make a big line that goes from the Brady Bunch back up to Lock Fandango, and that's where you put in your pontoons and ride, ride the lazy river back down. Ooh, is that the alchemist? Is, is that, that her lair? These are... That's just so how, do they have, how, do they, how does a tier two have three heroes? I feel like they should only have one hero per tier. We don't we get spend, three fucking. We spend awesome. a bunch of um, sessions like hiring shit, like their clock thing. Yeah, fuck that. You know, it's always alchemist, alchemist, alchemist. Hey, it, it's not alchemist. It's Al the chemist. Get it right. Is it? Come on, man. Uh, so the way it works, Jar, is um, the number of heroes they have is up to me. Uh, I see. The, I the, see. The, 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 I see. Say no more, sir. Say no more. The the tier of the heroes is determined by the tier. Ah, uh, equal to the tier of the heroes. Okay. Yeah. Say no more, Garrett. I get it. I see what you're up to. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Any other gather information? I just gave you um, all the ones yeah. that, that you ask all the time for free. So. I'd, I'd yeah. like to get one. Sure. So I'm, everybody knows that the Nameless Cyclops uh, group has spy masters of incredible renown. Not just for uh, spying on the dark factions, but the light. I'd like to go up there and talk my way, uh, you know, just do some friendly banter with those uh, in the spy masters guild. And see if I can't get some information on the kind of loot or the most valuable thing they might have in there, uh, over there in the Brady Bunch. What's deep in those vaults? Well, yeah, do they have like a prized possession? Yeah, do they? I'd like to roll banter for that, may I? Cut for certain. Banter away. Wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that sweet banter roll, baby. Uh, Dipper coming through. Polyphilus, they uh, when you when you get uh, to the the lands of the nameless cyclops, um, you meet with Jill the Shadow. Uh, she's the head of intelligence. Um, normally, someone so low on the totem pole would she's not so hot. would not meet with with Jill. She's so inky and black. Oh. Someone um, called in to take care of it, so she had to deal with them. Well, uh, Jill has a uh, a bit of a question for you first. Uh -oh. uh, she says, I notice that you have joined with the Shrouded Citadel to the south. Uh, I... Well, here's the thing. Yes, but also yes. But don't worry, I'm still doing books. I'm still I... making sure we're getting paid. I, I, are you? Are you here to deliver payment? It's, um, it's three coin. You're, the, the Shrouded Citadel is behind by three months already. Three coin, are you sure that's right? Uh, she looks at the book, looks at you and says, I'm very sure. I think you're going to have to show me that book of finances right there. The big one with all the faction's finances and see the debts and the credits. I've got uh, to do the research myself if I'm going to pay you. Uh, see, that's the funny thing, Polyphilus. We didn't kick you out because you were smart or useful or had any merit at all. Hey, those are all valid criticisms. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, also, now that you've joined, you're responsible. So, anyway, what is it you need to know? You can speak with Tom. 
I'm, uh, I'm under the, uh, uh, what's it, uh, the belief? No, under the impression? No. Tom told me <laughs> that, uh, he's preparing an enforcement action, uh, to come and acquire the dues that the Shrouded Citadel has yet to pay. Um, I assure you, we will have it very, very soon. That is not a problem whatsoever. You can you can mark that down next to my name. Mm, yes. You know what? I'd actually put my firstborn son on that. So, so why, why are you in my office? I need to see that book that I was just asking you about. The one behind you. The one that you've already memorized. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you just slide it this way for me, kindly? No. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. You had a question. I will know your question. What's the most valuable thing uh, that the Brady Bunch have in their vaults? No. Oh. Well, that's easy. They've been selling candy like crazy since they completed their factory. Once their distribution network is done, they'll double their profits. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So it's just a load of gold then? Well, mostly copper and silver. Very heavy. I see, I see. Do they have any magical items we should know about? Magical items? Hmm. She reaches behind her, picks up the book, and starts flipping through. Uh, as, she, as she does, you catch a glimpse of a few of the pages uh, before she hides them from you. Mm, mm, uh, mm, mm, nothing you need to know about. Slamming the book shut, she puts it back behind her. I got a six. Do I know anything from my um, uh, pages? Uh, sh sure, yeah, sure. You, you, you did catch a, a couple of glimpses. Uh, it seems the Brady Bunch, um, since they've kind of gone all in on candy, uh, they don't really, like, they, they haven't been concerned with collecting powerful magical items. Only with making more candy, more money, and getting that candy to as many factions as possible. Very good, very good. Well, thank you for your time, and um, remember, we'll... Uh... We'll have that, or else you can have my firstborn. Have a good one. Bye. Do you have children? No way. I'm untamed. <laughs> Unbridled. Unbroken. <laughs> uh, Jill says in the background, there's a reason for that. I thought you said they liked. I thought you said you were working. Because I'm like together. a bucking bronco, they can't hang on for more than seven seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on guys. Do we? Oh, hey, honey. About this? He came when he came to us. He told us that he was like working for her, and when he was sent to spy on us, that appears to have been a lie. Uh, either that or she's fucking seen through it. One of the two. Uh, basically, she's like his girlfriend in Canada, right? And you can't, you know, a girl like that's got no morals. Can't, you know, be with a girl like that. Uh, so, uh, just for everybody else, I assume that our two Cyclops characters would have told you guys uh, over the intervening months. Um, the the nameless Cyclops have a, um, they're, they're kind of like the Russian mafia, right? Uh, so there's a, there's a set of oligarchs. Uh, the, the head of the Nameless Cyclops is Billy the Nameless. Uh, underneath Billy, there's there's three kind of lieutenants uh, or, or Wait, oligarchs. Wait, not the chick? No. Uh, so uh, oh, under, under underneath Billy is Steve the Hammer. Uh, he's the head of enforcement. Uh, there's Jill the Shadow. She's head of intelligence, who is, uh, you know, the one that uh, Polyphilus used to work for. Uh, and then finally... Uh, there is Tom, the collector. Uh, he's he's the head of finance. He's the bag man. Got it. So he works at the grocery store. It, you could say that. If if by grocery you mean money. <laughs> the place with the money things. Uh. <clears throat> 
body. Um, I want to use my scan to see if I can find it. Is there a place where we could use our drill? Like, is there... Could we find a sneaky place to, like, drill through where they wouldn't... Like, so their guards are probably watching, you know, roads and where people, normal fucking people without weird drill machines come from. Like, mm -hmm. is there a place where we could drill through and come out sort of where the guards wouldn't expect us? Oh, for I would sure. like to... I would like to perceptively see if I could find such a location. Uh, you, you, I, I will say you don't even really need to roll for something like that. Uh, you are correct. They are watching the, the roads that uh, come towards uh, their their stronghold. Um, the, the difficulty with the Brady Bunch is that uh, they live on this giant bridge that's fallen uh, on and underneath it. Uh, so really the only ways you could get in there would be to either drill up underneath the river uh and somehow float up why can't uh, we drill out underneath the the main the top of the bridge but still through the side wall yeah yeah that that's another option you know just like straight through the side of the, the cliff there uh the Bray bunch has you know um has people on both sides uh but that center is is all fallen fallen down and and you know, in ruin. So, so, are there like rope bridges and stuff where people can move? Yeah, back yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, there's still people probably live. Maybe the market's like right there on the fucking middle of the river, and it's like Venice or uh, some shit. The the candy factory is on the on the left hand side, and this time I mean the actual left hand side. Uh, of, gotcha. Of the Brady Bunch, yeah. Like I said, you can you don't need to roll for info like that. I mean, if we, I know the machine is, like, not, like, a stealth machine, but, like, if we drilled through the wall at night, like, would they notice that, like, a, like imagine we're, like, drilling through a yeah. wall? Yeah. It's pretty we're loud, dude. Oh, um, take it easy, though, like, uh, um, one of the, know, would they see us? One of the flaws of the drill. Oh, is, is that it's loud? loud? Yeah, is that it is distinct, gotcha. and uh, they would know it was you, and they would hear it coming. But it is dependable and armored, so it's a pretty tough little machine. As we learned last time, though, it is not completely watertight. <laughs> well, why don't we drive it across the bridge through the um, Gorgon Arts territory? Because they're okay with us. There's a bridge there. We can drive it across the bridge. Why don't we try to burrow through the wall on the left side? Why don't we try to burrow directly into the candy factory? They might Ooh. hear us coming, but we're gonna just pop out like da da right in the candy factory. Like, why don't we drill into the, like I said, like kind of like a bunch of wackos robbing a bank with a drill machine. Like, we're gonna drill our way into the candy candy vault. Sounds like a plan to me. Is everybody else down with that? Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, initiate. Yeah. Initiate. Do we uh, know where their vault is? Where we can get close at least to the vault? It's in the candy factory. Um. Jar, right, can we drill into the candy vault? Since, since it's your uh, your plan, um, go ahead and give me two d six, and let's let's see how uh, how it goes. Come on, rope, pull the right lever. Yeah, uh, oh, let me also ask this: since we have a full house tonight, um, I have noticed it is actually kind of nice to have two separate teams. Uh, do we want to do two separate teams, or are we just all piling into the the drill? Doesn't actually have enough speed. Yeah, doesn't. But you could probably squeeze everybody in there. Okay, come up with everyone. Come up with a second, a second plan. Half of us are coming from one side. Should the other half come from the other side? That would work for me. But uh, well, we're all there. But it's up to you guys. Well, we could. Well, we, if you're, team, only if you're gonna secure an escape route. One team something. could start a distraction to make sure that the guards are preoccupied when your drills all when you start when your drills coming in. Oh, because... that's a good idea, especially if you can make a lot of noise from yeah. across the fucking bridge. Okay. Uh, so. Uh... Well, what would like to be on team drill again? <laughs> I love that drill. That drill is my baby. Polyphilus will be on the distraction team. It'll be hard to tone down all of this. Yeah, I'll be on destruction, team. 
uh, uh, Lord Crevice does not Do like we me need... being up front and personal. I don't mind getting up front. Join us in the drill then. I was there last time, I'll be here this time. I have to use my flame power to light this, I'll be ready. It's very handy. Right. Uh, Garrett, I'm gonna spend a gold okay. to bring the chickens. Uh, b before we get too deep, uh, let me figure out what the teams are. Uh, so, Team Drill? Who's on Team Drill? The Hush oh, is on is. Team Drill. I'm on Drill. Hornet. I'd like to be on Drill. Okay. Last That's time. What I like to see. So I've got Sport, Corn, and Bumble. Anybody else for Team Drill? I think we have one more seat in the Drill. Mm -hmm. Uh, rope. Rope's there. Rope. Okay. Rope and Bumble are the heavy hitters. Uh, okay. So, Team Distraction. Uh, who is Team Distraction? Help me Tristan uh, Wolf. Fur Licker. Oh. Uh, Dick Bird. Polyphilus, sir. <laughs> Never. Uh, not funny. Is that the everybody? Same it's the same teams, yes. Don't die again, guys. Oh, wait, where's Corn? Is Corn like, on the drill? Like oh, in our dungeon? Corn's in team drill, yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, that's everybody. In our, in our dungeon in the bathrooms, I just draw, like, with black Sharpie, like, dick bird pictures all over the stalls. That's bullying. Why? Where do you get the bird no, out of uh, it's a, there's an old, look at it, it's an old Greek, it's an actual frieze, like a stone, like, it's a real piece of art that's like 2,400 years old. It's polyphilus, it's, it's a bird, it's polyphallus, it's a bird with a, like a penis head and a penis tails and penis wings, like, it's a real, like, probably multi-million dollar piece of ancient art. It's so art, let's... bro, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> I'm just gonna drag you guys. I don't know, I'll try to find it for you, Jay. Uh, just for my reference later. Thank you, Jay, for the good suggestion of having your tokens on the map. Team Drill is on the top. Uh, team Distraction on the bottom there. We're actually Perfect. Let's, let's put Drill over here. There we go. Distraction over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, so much more organized. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> um, let's see, I've already got... Excuse me. I've already got a engagement roll from Team Drill. Um, who wants to roll engagement for Team Distraction? Uh, tell me, what is the distraction? Uh, I don't feel like rolling, but uh, Polly, Polyphilus, why don't Poly you? Polyphilus, okay. Yeah, or for like, uh, I, I'm like just saying, I, what have you come up with it? I rolled I just, for us uh, a six. Oh, you already for, rolled? Uh, yeah. If you rolled, then, then it's your It's my distraction? distraction. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you want for it? We we have picket signs uh, here at the f at the fucking at the bridge itself, uh, stating you know down with the uh, Brady Bunch candy. It's a ripoff of the Wally Pop Gang. Wow, this is very canned. Okay. Um, Molotovs might be coming out later. We don't know yet. Cool, cool, cool. We'll find out. Um, Okay, so, uh, who wants to bring minions? I know, Josh, you said you wanted to spin one for minion. That is correct, sir. I will um, take mine. Okay. Uh, mine are the companion so... Danny, you are being quiet, man. Fix your mic, please. Mine have the companion you upgrade. To, you just need to move it closer to your mouth. Yeah, I, get it up in your right face. In your mouth with, like, the top of it pointing your face. <laughs> yes, you need to add that. <laughs> like I, 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 I've, I've used his mic setup to play another game. Like that's how it works. You gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, I even have you at two hundred percent. It, sometimes it's even hard to say what you're, hear what you're saying. Um, anybody else? Anybody want to it's always hard to hear me sing. <laughs> I'm not bringing minions. Bumble, Bumble has companions. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're bringing. Okay. Uh, corn. Corn, corn, not bringing minions, I guess. Or an opt-in thing. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I, my minions are dead. I didn't get them back yet. You Sorry, didn't... I had my headset muted. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Sportimer? This is an no? opt-in kind of thing, not an opt-out kind of thing, I feel like. Correct. It, it, it costs a gold, unless you have companion. Yeah. I, I'm not opting in. 
Okay. Um, well, just remember, guys, this is a pillage, so it's gonna be tough. So uh, I just I, my guy's dead though. I, I, I never. Well, yeah, peas. If they're dead, obviously you can't take I them. I'm just saying for everyone else. Uh, this is gonna be hard. So I mean, I'm you know they might get killed, but I mean at least if I can get them killed before me, great. I'll pay. I'll like pay the gold exactly. to have your if you want the minion to come with you. I'll pay the gold. Can I give the gold? You want to pay for somebody else's minion? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Uh, you, uh, only Sportimer is, is available. Uh, Sportimer, do you want to bring yours? I uh, guess. If they're yeah. free, yeah. Thanks. I pay the gold. <laughs> Might as well. Just I I I just I missed the game where we did like the re like res and stuff. Okay, so Tristan. Uh, Polyphallus. You can just call me Pole, it's fine. <laughs> because I've got it. Throbbing <laughs> 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 Pole uh, and Chicken. Uh, so, minions? No minions? <laughs> pole, you bringing minions? I already said pole. no. Pole smoker? I, I, I will take silences, no? No minions for me. Uh, all right, I think we got everything. Um, let's start. Uh, so, since Team Distraction is trying to start a distraction before the uh, drill approaches, uh, let's start with Team Distraction. Um, you guys are in a controlled situation as you approach. Uh, or, well, hold on, let me ask one more question. What time of day are we doing this? We gotta do it at night. Are they supposed to root our picket fences if we're doing it at night? Exactly. <laughs> well, dusk. Dusk. Do, do we have they, picket fences? Yeah, we, how, we, are they, how are they supposed to read your pickets if they're a light faction? That's my question. But uh, in any case, yeah, we draw better. pictures. Draw pictures. We, we use yeah, stick the words we know. Stickmen. stickmen and light words. Yep. Like, we draw a pile of shit. Like, doo doo smoke, doo doo emoji. We'll yeah. just draw emojis on. Postcards on your poster board. Uh, There's probably an eggplant in there too. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, we have a you know no gold, and then we have a candy symbol. I, I'm telling you, there's a. I drew a giant turd on mine. Okay. For you you're, guys. You're... Uh, yeah. No. 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 I helped you build them before we left. Okay. We... Okay. Um, as, as you guys approach, um, you can see the guard uh, raising their torches uh, and, and, you know, spotting you kind of a, a emerging uh, out in the distance. Um, they seem to be raising the alarm. And, uh, and before long, uh, one of the adventurers, the aristocrat, appears. Uh, he's standing, and uh, you can see him conferring with the guards. Um, you you guys have basically the initiative now. Uh, what would you like to do? The guards are, uh, you know, at attention. The aristocrat is there to lead. Um, it looks like they're not leaving their post, but waiting for you to show up. Should we, uh, should we uh, engage them, or should we just make more of a ruckus? I mean, we're, we're just supposed to kind of distract, right? So that the drilling can happen. So, if you engage, I will be in the back. Casting I don't want a spell. to engage. Okay. No one will tie me down. <clears throat> what if we throw this, like, uh... This alchemist fire towards the guy? Ooh, that's Could a good idea. Storm? Wouldn't that just be engaging? What if we throw it at the bridge itself? Uh, the bridge is giant and, and stone, um, so but it wouldn't the, burn the bridge down. I mean, it looks like there's, you know, fucking brush on it. That's why. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to set a fire, that that Here, will work. And I mean, do you actually help. have an alchemist fire? I, I will spend the stress and coin. No, to make one. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, roll me tinker to see how how many you get. You get one. Yeah, one's good enough for me. How much stress and how much, uh... Uh, two stress. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'll I'll roll it at the uh, bridge. Uh, okay. Uh, and what's your intention here? Uh, set Back. set a portion of the bridge on fire so that the aristocrat might, you know, call the guards towards us. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, what action do you think fits with that narrative? Uh, this is a smash. Um, anybody have a dark bargain for it? Anybody, uh, want to assist? Um, what's he trying to do again? He's trying to... He's trying to set the bridge on fire and lure the guards and the aristocrat towards you guys. What kind of character are you? Like, which, like, like what is your race? I'm a white. Um, I think you get, like, lit on fire by the alchemist fire. Like, it burns your hand or something. Yeah, I'm not... Mm -hmm. Shit wouldn't be put out. Burned to death. How about how about it burns your clothes and you have to get naked? Okay, I'll, I'll be naked for the rest of the encounter. And people are gonna make fun of you though. I have no dick, I'm, you know. That's what I mean. <laughs> I have no dick. <laughs> Noted. I have no dick. You can borrow <laughs> one of my spares. <laughs> I am fine being made fun of with no dick and all that. Perfect. What do you think, Garrett? I think that's borderline, but okay. Perfect. <laughs> borderline, perfect, just the way Pees likes it. <laughs> well, I guess what? Oh, no, dog shit! <laughs> Burn the clothes for no reason. <laughs> dog shit! I can you, see your God. your junkless. Uh, as you as you light the alchemist fire, it flares up unexpectedly, catching your cloak on fire. Uh, knowing that this fire can't be put out, you rip it off, uh, and then you notice your pants are on fire. You rip those off, yep. and then finally your your petticoats. And you take those off, and uh, in all of this panic, uh, the <laughs> alchemist fire has only just kind of very lazily rolled towards the bridge. Uh, the aristocrat uh, deftly kicks it off into the water, uh, and then looks up at you guys and it's like, "What the shit?" And you hear him say, "No dick." <laughs> <laughs> That's a distraction. That's yeah. the distraction. It's like, the dude, check it out. That guy's got no dick. <laughs> uh, the guards don't seem overly alarmed. They're just really puzzled. Why, why, why would they? they? You have no penis. <laughs> <laughs> why monsters seem to have right, protest like, signs. <laughs> yeah, how oh, great. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, oh, my God. Let's cut over to Team Grill. I mean, I consider Grill. this a success, even though it's a cataclysmic <laughs> failure. No, it was it's perfect. It's 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 as it should be. Uh, Team Drill, you are coming into a risky situation. Uh, the drill has been drilling for for quite a while now, um, and uh, and as you get closer to the bridge, you start hitting the foundations of the bridge underneath. You know, the ground oh shit, in the cliff and uh. Like that rock is harder than um, than the surrounding rock. It makes this terrible screeching noise um, as as you you know slowly make progress. Um, as the drill starts to break into the factory, uh, you see the factory is actually full of guards and two oh, adventures. Oh god! I feel and... like they should get totally destroyed by the big giant end of our tunneling drill. I feel like uh, they're gonna. Gonna well, get attacked we, by that. Yeah, it just means that we came out and they know we're here. Um, yeah, and there's two adventurers there: uh, the occult slayer and the alchemist. Um, I'm going after the occult slayer. I think we should try to kill them with the drill first, and then go after them. Uh, yeah, we definitely should run over them with the drill, but I don't and, know. How. Well, yeah, the drill is super fast, uh, and by fast I mean slow. Uh, so, as the drill breaks through the wall. Um, yeah, but it's armored and awesome and has a spinning drill bit where they can be like, oh my god, I'm up against the wall. What are we going to do to the drill bit? It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning closer. It's getting so close. It's so it, close indeed. now. And they take one step to the right. And, it, it, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it got so close. It was scary. It's, it's like that Austin Powers. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, so um, the occult slayer is going to use one of his offensive moves. Uh, he is going to use no weakness. 
Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna light him on fire. He yells to the guards. Uh, and the guards throw prepared Molotov cocktails at, at your drill. Oh, um, can I, um... Because can the drill, I... Uh, before you... Let, let me finish. Uh, before... Sure. <laughs> uh, before you know it, uh, the drill is covered in this sticky, burning liquid. It's starting to leak inside. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. What do you guys want to do? I want to I wanna use uh, a firewall. Like, when I see it coming, can I cast firewall? And then, like, as they go through the fire, like, it would get destroyed to protect the craft. Um, okay. Uh, are you inside or outside? Like, have you I'm, been, like, like, driving. Following behind? You're driving. Um, yeah, like, I can see through the little slit. Okay. Uh, you know what? Sure. Why not? You want to cast a firewall to try to stop these Molotovs from hitting your... Uh, yeah, hitting what your is ground. that going to be, like, on the dice scale? Like, it, well, uh, is that going to be a negative two? Uh, I think the firewall is... What level is the spell is the first question piece. Yeah. I think he get, that's a figure. I'll look and see if it's in the book. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a flame wall. Uh, it is tier two, so it'll be minus... Two. Minus one. Or, yeah, it's sorry, minus, minus one. It's minus yeah. two for a tier three. Nice! All right. Uh, your firewall... <laughs> bursts into flame in front of you uh you can even you know you can feel the heat through that that slit uh the heat doesn't bother you too much corn but um i think bumble rope and, and Schwartimer are, are not super happy with it um oh. eh, i'm mostly shadow my shadows we you know whatever i just sweat inky blackness it's beautiful <laughs> the uh the molotovs add to to the heat of the firewall uh and uh but it does give you enough time to to get through and uh, and actually into the factory. Uh, let's cut back to team distraction. I'm rolling on the oh. ground. Oh wait. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean you you you've already disrobed. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're not on fire. Your clothes were on fire, but now they're just ashes. My valuables. It's all right. At least you already have to do it, so we can have to lose it for a second time. Yes. All right, guys, uh, what, what do you think we need to do to... So, are they no longer coming towards us? I mean, they're, he said they were distracted no. by us, but they're not doing yeah, anything. Yeah, I mean, they're watching you, but they're, they're not, like, attacking you. They're just kind of really confused. Um, we start chanting. I think <laughs> we will. What could you guys do? Do something. What do you think, Paul? You suck, eat, give. You up. suck, eat Gold. shit. You suck, eat shit. <laughs> We're just going around in a circle chanting that. I just started chanting uh, light word, light tongue words. They're thinly veiled threats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the aristocrat looks. Fed up by your your protest, I, I think they've he's he's figured out what what you guys are up to. Obviously, trying to protest. His no, cabinet. we're not trying to protest. Uh, he fun. confidently walks forward, um, motioning for the guards to follow behind him. You can see the guards are a little reluctant, but uh, I'm sure they do follow him. Peacefully, aristocrats are all known for handling protests in a, a well regulated manner. I'm not there. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> The Arister Hat is going to use one of his offensive moves. He's going to raise his rapier and point it directly at the largest of your party, which I think is Furlick. I'm not so scary without my, my clothes on, guys. Uh, actually, you're kind of laughing stock. Uh, yeah, I know. The, uh, <laughs> you don't have to point it out, Aristocrat. <laughs> yeah, dead. Um, he is going to challenge you to a duel, Furlick. Uh, what this means is that um, anyone who attempts to attack the aristocrat uh, will uh, do so at less effect. Oh, except for me. Except for you. Uh, okay. And he's standing, you know, in front of you with his his rapier out, uh, challenging you to a duel. What what do you do, Furley? Duel. Um, I think you duel. We 
I can I can't I do tier her. one. Furlick, use your secret weapon. Violence. <laughs> Violence. I transform into beast form and I punch him in the face. Not the violence. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I take one of my axes and I cut down on him. Ah, so you go in for the attack. I charge in there. Axe raised okay. above my head. And I swing down. Okay. Uh, what what action do you think takes that? that? That's a smash, my friend. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, uh, he excels at one-on-one -on -one combat. Uh, which means you will have less effect. I meant to cancel uh, that, but oh well. That's okay. You got a six. Uh, your your act seems to surprise me a bit. Uh, he, you know, jumps back trying to uh, to to uh, repost the the blow, but is unable to. Uh, you take half a heart from him, leaving him with uh, what's it? Uh, one and a half hearts. Tristan. Yes. This could take forever. We should also utilize violence. I mean, we we can try, yes. If there's one thing I know, it's how effective coming from behind can be. I think we should sneak up on that <laughs> aristocrat and give him what for. Oh, Lord Crevice loves coming like from behind. From Good rogering. He... One of his most famous phrases is, come in the middle of the night, come from behind where they can't see you, and strike fast. I, th I thought it was thrust. Behind, huh? Thrust oh, fast, yes. Yeah. I think we have the same erotic literature. Uh, anyway, we should go help uh, uh, Furlan. Yes, you, you go help. I, I will chant and pray to my god to... Uh, assist in this endeavor i'm just gonna run to the side uh, from the side <laughs> i don't use stealth and i'm just gonna uh fucking tackle the aristocrat <laughs> god damn i think that's a smash uh smash okay um you will have zero effect tackling has zero effect he is used <clears throat> challenge to a duel oh what's this uh, what one v one me 1v1 me, bro. 1v1 me on Rust, bro. Come on. Exactly. Okay. In that case, maybe uh, I can... Remember, off. remember, I was going to say, zero doesn't mean you can't do anything. It just means you have to expend resources to make it effective. Hmm. Well, then, maybe I can uh, help Furlick. What? Let's go hard. Why not? You can go hard. Okay. Uh, that will uh, increase the, the consequence, but will give you limited effect. Let's do it. Okay. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, don't say that. A four. A four. Uh, as, as you rush forward, going for the tackle, uh, you, you, you know, get him right, right at the hips. Uh, as he's, you know, parrying a blow from Furlick. Um, but Furlick's blade cuts into your feet. You're gonna take shock. Two. Can I resist that? You can. Uh, you're gonna take shock to guts and muscles. Let it be known that was not my fault. <laughs> nope, not at all. But I would like to, uh, use my strength to push his blade in a different direction. That's powerfully done with a well-timed smash. That's my resistance, please. Uh, just narratively, how does that work? So, he's swinging his blade, correct? And I somehow mm -hmm. get in the way. Yeah. What I do is I punch the hilt of his blade in another direction, hopefully disarming uh, the aristocrat, which I would use with my control ability. You fluidly control a fight. Well, on a success, when resisting an attack in close combat, you can disarm your opponent. And huh. that would be rad. Okay, cool. Shall I end? Uh, okay. Uh, the, I mean, if you would like to, go for it. Uh, so That's a success. Uh, you got a four. 
so that is a success in resisting. Uh, or sorry, uh, that's a mixed in resisting, not a, not a success. Uh, so there's a little bit of nomenclature weirdness in in the um, in, in wicked ones. Uh, they say it's they like say, a partial. Uh, yeah, so they say failure, mixed, and success. Success is the six. Uh, so. Uh, so unfortunately, that is not a success. Uh, you will partially resist the consequence, uh, and it'll cost you two stress. Um, so you will only take shock to your muscles. Okie doke. That rat does he get disarmed at all, or even no, or, or no. loses grip or something, or no, just no. You have this to ability play. sucks. I gotta the, get a new one. I mean, um, the way I read it, and I. I Tell me if I'm, I'm being too harsh, because I might be. Uh, you fluidly control flight on a success when resisting an attack in close combat. You can also... So see... Uh, yeah, it says not a success. success. Not a success. Yeah. Right, yeah. it says a success, so... I don't know. I mean, that might be the kind of thing that people would errata, like, even if on a partial success or so. But as it's written, it says success, so that is a yeah. six. Yeah. Indeed, uh, and you know, disarming or redirecting an attack—that's actually that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 So, I can see it. Why maybe they thought success would be the right level. Um, okay, let's. Uh, the the fight is on. Um, on the other side of the bridge, uh, the guards are about to join in. But let's cut back to the candy factory. Uh, uh, you guys have broken through. There's fire everywhere, uh, and there's a whole bunch of guards and, and two adventurers. Uh, a bumble's jumping out. Okay. And I am going. you jump out, Bumble, your, your fur starts to singe because of all the goddamn fire. <laughs> uh, I'm jumping right to. How, how far away is the Occult Slayer? Uh, the Occult Slayer, you can see him through the flames. Uh, standing there, it looks like he's like maybe trying to cast a spell or something. I don't Ooh. Know. Okay. I don't, I'm going to spend a stress to perform an incredible feat of athletics like mm -hmm. jumping across the the room through a wall of fire okay and then i am going to use my great harvesting axe because um it's hungry for limbs uh and i am going to smash down uh trying to decapitate him and i am also going to use my dark heart for an extra smash you're not going to like this. Uh, he's going to use a defensive move. He's going to outwit. Uh, let's see the roll. If you get a success or higher, like a crit, then you, you, you still work. Uh, anything lower than that, though, he, he will elude your attack. Okay. So it had to be a six? It had to be a six, yeah. Okay. Uh, because he used one of his defensive moves. I understand. Bumble, how can you miss? <laughs> I know, with four freaking die. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when you get there, um, you realize that you're just attacking a mirage, and the occult slayer is actually standing on the other side of the room. Uh, the alchemist looks Such up. Such swings. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm see. complaining about somebody else. <laughs> Uh, the alchemist looks up, and uh, he sees you in the middle, um, and you can hear him yelling, at him. It's one of the words you know. Uh, the guards rush towards you, Bumble. Um, let's just... Uh, Sportimer, what are you doing? You're still in the, you're still in the drill. Uh, Bumble has rushed out and, you know, went through the wall of fire in front of you. You can hear the guards yell, you know, the, the heroes yelling attack. Um, things are going crazy. Uh, to your left, you see the vault. I'm going for the vault. They got this. I, 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 I have said Lord Mortimer has full confidence in his compatriots that they will do their roles unspoken with no communication whatsoever. And this will be the perfect plan. And he's gonna run straight for the vault. When you get to the vault, uh, it, it's it think like a bank vault. It's got this big, you know, circular wheel, 
uh, on it. Uh, when you try to spin the wheel, um, not only is, is are, are the handles like really sticky, but uh, but they're also like not moving. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I think we need to drive the drill. Yeah, fuck drill that. I got a drill. You ain't you ain't getting that shit open by hand, bro. Wait, come on. Does Lord Slaughterman think the drill can get through this? Uh, so the the vault seems to be reinforced. It might take some time, but the drill is the drill. It could mm. probably drill through. Yeah, that seems all well and good. But Lord Slaughterman might be able to get through that. Uh, you recognize this lock. Uh, it's not a particularly advanced lock, but it is a big one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Lord Slaughterman will, uh, he, he, he knows exactly how to fix this lock, uh, right? I, I'd like to think uh, he knows the exact method, uh, but he's too proud uh, to, to tinker, uh, you know, to put his fucking hands in there and do it himself. No, he's got to make a device that will automatically undo it. So um, he's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to create a device that I can put on top, like like whip up out of nowhere, uh, in a moment of of of, of, of uh, unnecessary brilliance, let's say, uh, an, an automated lock picking device to fix this lock that would otherwise uh, probably only need a rake. Uh, so you want an auto lock picking? I'm gonna device. build a machine to break the lock, like a. That would be a flashback, and uh, just looking at I what you sense, got. I can yeah. sense stress. That'll an be incredible feat of creation. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, such as slapping mm -hmm. together. A temporary simple contraption. Okay, two stress. Fantastic. Um, I would like to uh, go. Oh, well, first, actually, tell me what the. You know, tell me what the situation. Uh, oh, sure. Uh, so, um, this because is this is not a great device. Yeah. Well, and this is not a, a you know particularly advanced lock. Uh, I would say you have, um, you know, just standard effect. Uh, and that, uh, um, go hard. Okay. Okay. Y you're trying to up the effect there. Yes. Uh, that will put the position at desperate. Whatever. Okay. Daddy want money. <laughs> okay. Just, just cool. And uh, any devil's bargains for him? Not that I can think of one. Can't recall for the rest of the raid. I can't what? You won't be able to like remember, to, like bring things. So you won't be able to do something like this later again down the road. I don't understand what that means mechanically. I, I think what he's saying is is you can't uh, use a flashback. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. And and again, Danny, you are super quiet. Fix your shit, bro. The fuck is going on? I did. Dude, just buy yourself a wireless headset. Maybe, um, maybe up your oh, output up volume in Windows. Port. Yeah. You can do mic in, boost. In this yeah, mic boost. Like, dude, I have Danny turned up to 200%. He's still quiet. I'm gonna turn Danny down now because I think he's about to blow up my ears again. Same. I hope so. Oh, that sounds way better. Say something again, Danny. Hello. Alright. Thank you. Okay. Um, so no devil's bargain. That's okay. If no one's got a good devil's bargain, I will take it. Uh, how about well, you lose a thumb? What? But you what? lose what? the what? ability <laughs> to drive the, the drill. What was that one? You lose the ability to drive the drill. You, you will never evil. again be able to or experience the joy. Or <laughs> Slaughterman will lose his thumb. You want to lose uh, a thumb? Wait, okay. Wait, sounds like it's gonna take a shock. Yeah. It will. Yeah. The muscles probably. Okay. Right. Okay. If we're jumping on the bandwagon for, you know, shit once. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, but you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just giving you a different one. Okay, you fuck up the drill. It'll no longer back up. It can only go forward. <laughs> there is no reverse on this drill anymore. 
<laughs> was first there ever. Cowards. Wow, <laughs> I like that so much, though. <laughs> it just makes the drill a more fun, interesting thing. Exactly. And the I, blinkers are broken, uh, so we never I used them. I will accept his uh, thing that uh, during this mission, we, uh, we, we, we got the thing stuck I, in I mean, you, 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 you use the reverse lever as a part of your lockpick kit. Yeah. You just, like, yank it out, and when you yank it out, you break the shit out of it. <laughs> we, you know, cons being considerate or aware, those are not, though, none of those are qualities that any of us have as evil monsters, right? Like, none of us think of anyone else. Uh, at least that's what uh, the evil eyes do. So, uh, I gotta roll now. I'll take that. Uh, I'll get... A six. Booyah. Um, okay, that is... Is that the right number of dice? Correct, because I, when I, because one of my abilities... Yeah, that bitch is good hard, at tinkering. When I go hard, I get an extra D. <laughs> when he goes uh, an extra hard... extra D, you say? Uh, no. Yeah, I have an ability that does that. Oh, do you? Yeah, I've done this a lot. I've done this uh, many times. Oh, you do indeed. Okay. <laughs> when I go, baby, I go <laughs> launch! The yeah, downside you're... is that I can't resist consequences. Your monster science there, yeah, it gives you the extra D and then the extra D from the uh, dark bargain. You know what? Uh, this take, is an outrage! Take, uh, just to pile on this ridiculous roll, um, go ahead and take a dark heart for uh, playing into your character. Rolling that shit. Uh, being a bad sports, you know, and wrecking fucking drill. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so... Can I, can I give the dark heart to someone? No. Uh, your, uh, auto lock picker starts, you know, uh, working away, and, like, you're like, okay, that's gonna take at least a minute. Uh, and, you know, as yeah. you turn your, as you turn your back on the, the device, it goes, and the door cracks open. Uh, the vault is open. Yeah, all the thing has to do is go in and out a couple of times. It just has to rake it. But... Yeah, it, it happened way faster than you expected. Uh, let's cut back to... Yeah, that's what he always says. Oh, holy shit, I have just the meme for this. <laughs> uh, just one second. You guys keep going. Let's cut back to team. Baby, it, it, this has never happened to me before, baby, I swear. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> never. Uh, so, team distraction. Um... Let's start with uh, Furlick. You are engaged in single combat with the aristocrat, except he's just been tackled by uh, uh, Polyphilus. Um, he is he is kind of rolling uh, up up to his feet. Um, he uh, you know takes a defensive stance, looking at both of you, uh, and you you can tell he's you know like. He has no respect for Polyphilus. Like, we were in a duel. What the shit, man? I'm just gonna laugh at him. You thought this was gonna be a fair fight? What is he, an idiot? <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? You have the initiative. Um. Uh, see, can I do a thing? Can I do a spell here? Uh, can I, could I cast Arc Lightning? I, I mean, if you can, then you can. I mean, I can do Witchcraft, which allows me to spend stress to invoke a tier 2 or 3 spell of a single Witchcraft path. Um, I don't feel like you have to spend stress. That's what it says. Oh, indeed, I guess you do have to... Yeah, you have to spend stress. Hmm. I guess I've been doing witch witchcraft wrong the whole time. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. All right. Um, I guess I'm gonna cast arc lightning oh. and try to zap all the guys while screaming. What, what's okay. the fucking line? I am power. <laughs> Infinite oh, power. God damn it. Unlimited power. I am power. Infinite uh, Zapping them with lightning from my fingertips. So arc lightning is uh, tier two, right? Yeah, tier two. 
Okay, uh, you're gonna be able to target the adventurer and two of the guards with that. Neat. Um, and you'll take a minus one D. So Garrett, for invoking, uh, it also says the same thing about taking stress. So we've been doing. We have been doing magic all the whole yep. time. Look yep. at that. Uh, well, we'll fix it now. Uh, yep. That will cost you, uh, since it's tier two, it'll cost you two stress. Two stress? Do I have to roll anything for that? Uh, y yeah, you would. Um, you would need to roll invoke uh, with minus one D. Um, and again, you can uh, just ignore do that it. one. Okay. No, I, I didn't, uh, didn't account for the minus one. <laughs> you're getting a little eager. All I was gonna say is, uh, you oh. could get an assist. You could, kind of, you know, use a dark card to take a bargain. Uh, but you already got a six, so you can just roll with that if you like. Yeah. Uh, lightning jumps from your furry fingertips. Uh, and uh, and arcs between the adventurer and two of the guards. Uh, the guard go into convulsions, falling to the ground. Uh, the aristocrat is going to use one more of his special moves, leaving him with only one left. He's going to give you a condescending look. Is he going to tut him? He's an aristocrat. Is he going to give, is he going to tut him? Uh, it's, 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 that's a part of the skill, yeah. <laughs> a firm tutting. Uh, what that means is um, you will will not hurt him because his look just it's wilting, you know. You're like, yeah, oh yeah. God, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? You feel so low class. Is this why my parents don't love me? Uh, <laughs> let's um, let's go to Tristan. Tristan, you've been standing back there doing something for a while. What what are you up to? I'm going to. Cast a tier two spell since you said the uh, guards are coming. Uh, yeah, the guards are, are are now you know streaming around the the one on one fight that Furlick was uh, trying to have with the aristocrat. Um, they look like they're they're targeting both uh, you and and uh, uh, what's it? Uh, fucking Holly Phallus. Just call him Holy pole. the pole. Yeah. The pole. The, pole. the rigid pole. You know, I don't know what it is about pole. your name. It's like sometimes a smoking pole. Sometimes I can say it. Sometimes I can't. Oh. Unbreakable, unbending. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, the guards are, are rushing in to, to assist. Uh, they do look like they're coming for you, Tristan. Um, what what spell are you unleashing upon them? I'm unleashing obstacle. A wall collapses between you and your pursuers. Oh, bringing the walls down again. Okay. I'm bringing the fucking walls down. That's all I do. So, okay. I guess first, how many stress for a tier two? Is it two? Uh, I... Sorry, hold on. You are... Uh, what's his fucking name? Travis. Uh, yeah, that's tier two. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, yeah, this will bring a wall down. Uh, although, are there walls out here? I thought we were outside. Hey, th there looks like there's walls there, you know. I'm, I'm just, okay, so I'm not really breaking a wall down. I'm splitting the earth to create an obstacle between me and the guards that are trying to... And the guards that are coming after you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tier two. Like I said, uh, is that two stress, or...? Uh, yeah, so tier two, two stress, uh, and um, I would say... Standard effect. You don't even require the weirding module anymore. I am the weirding module. You know what? Your name is the killing word. <laughs> I'm going to use the dark heart because just just so I don't need to uh, remember about it. There you go. Six. All right. Well, uh, you, why did you roll four? I have you three. Have in oh, you're right. Yeah, minus one, yeah. Well, it was uh, minus one plus. Yeah, okay. Let me fix that. So yeah, because I was using a dark heart. I'll re-roll. I'll put bonus zero because it's minus one plus one for the dark heart. Right. A uh, five. The sigh. But okay. The sigh. Uh, <laughs> uh, since you are playing into your character, I will give you another dark heart. 
Uh, also, just because I'm robbing you of your six. Uh, so, uh, the the um, you know crag in the in the desert floor opens up. Uh, three or four of the guards fall in as they uh, you know are chasing after you. Uh, one of them, however, somehow makes the leap. Uh, and standing next to you, uh, he looks down at the place where your junk used to be, and he just starts to laugh. Laugh it in, motherfucker. This will be you when you die. Uh, he his his laugh is like it it stabs deep. Like this one hurts. Uh, yeah, it cuts me deep. Yeah, it's gonna gonna give you shock to brains. I will. Attempt to resist with. Uh, okay. How do you resist? Uh, How do you resist this insult? You no, know, we're gonna we're gonna go with cleverly thinking about this issue and how. You know what? I'm above this. I I am. I'm proud of having no dick at this point, this stage of my life. You know, making that declaration out loud. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's see it. A six. Hey, that's good resist. Uh, that is a full resist, so you won't take any of that shock. Uh, and I think you actually can get. Uh, jubi, 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 uh, nope, just one stress. Right, well, I won't be casting shit. Very tier, nicely done. Tier one invocations. Here we go. As we run the fuck away. Uh, let's cut back over to Team Drill. Uh, team Drill, rope. You just exited. You see, uh, Sportimer is over there. Uh, he's ripped out some pieces of the drill, uh, but has opened the vault. Um, the, the flames in front of you are roaring high, um, but you can hear the incantations of the Occult Slayer. He, he's doing something. Uh, what would you like to do, Rogue? Um, can I pounce on the, uh, what, the Occultist? Uh, you'd have to go through the wall of flame. Uh, oh, but yes, but yes. Decided. Well, um, can I see through the flame? I mean, yeah, you know, through the, the flames are, are flickering, and, uh, you know, you, you can see him through through the flames, but yes. But yes. He's on the other can side I, of the flames. Can I throw a knife at him? I can't see why you can't. Go ahead. But can he see through the fire? I'm going to say I will try to precisely throw a knife. Okay. Toss him a knife. Uh, your knife flies true. Wham! Hits the aristocrat. Or, not the aristocrat. Sorry, the occult. The uh, occult, yeah. Uh... That's going to do one slash uh, to him, leaving him with one and a half hearts left. Uh, however, at that same moment, uh, a uh, the alchemist is going to use one of his uh, offensive moves, or sorry, defensive moves, um, and a goo grenade is going to land at your feet. Both Gross. He's got to throw that through the fire, by the way. And he, he, well, he just fucking did. Uh, Gross. Both, both you and Corn, uh, find yourself stuck to the floor. Oh uh, God, damn it! Like some kind of really right, sticky, to, nasty to goo. Feet of agility to slip unimpeded through that. Uh, can just... you you can attempt to resist the consequence if you like. I'd like to resist. Okay, what do I how do what do I roll for resisting the consequence? Uh, you tell me narratively how you resist it. And then you roll well, as my and you power, so, and I'm shadowy. I, I'd like to think that, like, I'm sort of semi-incorporeal at this point, and I'm gonna try to just like 
make the bot the soles of my black boots like just kind of fuzz out into shadow so I can step out of the goo before they solidify again into reality. Okay, and what action? Oh, uh, that's gonna skulk. That's a sneak. Okay, give me a roll. Shadow boots! Oh, so that's a mixed. Uh, you're gonna take two stress. Um, and you you are able to move uh, either into the uh, what's it into the drill or, or farther towards the vault it's your choice uh, but um, you get stuck whichever you know in whichever direction you go so uh, you get like one one move but then like the stuff you know uh, grabs onto you uh, you didn't fully resist So your choice is yeah. vault or or drill. To be honest, well, okay, I should. There was something I should have done that would have been better, but that's okay. Uh, I'll move towards the vault. Okay. Uh, you make it to the door of the vault, uh, which has been thrown open by Lord Schlorner, Um At which point, uh, your your shadowy boots become corporeal again and stick to the floor. Uh, Corn, you said you also wanted. Damn to Damn it, shadow boots. Yeah. Uh, can I um. Could I, like, cast a spell and, like, I guess... Um, you wouldn't really cast a spell, just narratively. How do you resist? Uh, you could Um, like, I guess I, like, jump out of the way. Okay. Try to, like, jump up on something. Like, sure. or shield myself from getting splashed. Gotcha. Uh... Like, is there, like, a door maybe I could shut? Or, like, a table I could pick up and throw in front of myself? Maybe. You know, either of those things are okay. It's up to you. Uh, I just need the narrative so I know how to react to it. Uh, so I, I see a, a small table nearby. I pick it up and I kind of like shield myself with it, trying to block the, the sticky liquid from hitting me. Okay. Uh, that's also a partial resist. Uh, that'll cost you two stress. Sure. Uh, the table takes, um, you know most of the brunt of, of the goo uh, you can move but your hands are coated with the goo the next thing you touch you will be stuck to great uh let's cut to bumble bumble you are in the fray yes uh there are guards surrounding you uh the occult slayer uh has you know um what's i guess he's still kind of close to you uh and the alchemist is, you know, just a few steps behind. Um, but yeah, you're like up in the shit. Um, the guards are, are going to attack you if you do nothing. Yeah, um, well, I would like, to, my harvesting axe really wants to, um, it's kind of shiny. And I feel like that, you know, the guards are coming towards me and I would like, I imagine them kind of starting to surround me and I am going to try to take it and do it like a, a 360 and just try okay. to whirl around. Um, this of course will be an incredible feat of athletics. Again, using my stress okay. for my battle master um, 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 special ability which I imagine is going to improve the effectiveness of this, this swing, all right, oh, around. Oh, indeed, uh, yeah. Um, you can face up to, to all the guards that are, you know, trying to basically dogpile on you and stab you with all their spears and swords and pitchforks and such. Um, yes. Uh, so, yeah, you're going for a big old 360, like, you're going to cut, cut a bitch. Um, yeah, exactly. That'll be, that'll be too stress. That's an extra stress. Okay. All right. We're gonna. We're doing. There's it. a lot of them, bubble. There is a lot. There is a lot. I. I. I am out of dark. Gary? I'm out of dark hearts. So does anybody have a um. Have a a a, a, bargain? a devil's bargain for me to get an extra die here. Everybody likes to break Bumble's axe. They yeah. do. It's the, only it's the only way to nerf it. it Gotta take it out of the game. <laughs> it's the only thing he cares about. 
Alright, it's g it damaged, but not broken completely. It's like repairable, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, like, potentially? Okay, but it would be out for this turn. Okay. I'm I'm um, okay taking that, if, if Gary, if, you're if, accepting uh, that. If it's out for, uh, not this turn, but this session, score, then yes. This session, yes, this yeah, session. Yeah. Okay. I would need to use a downtime action to, like, fix it. Thing. Sure. Like, is how I'm imagining it. Okay. Okay. I will take that, and I will uh, get my extra die for that. So, um, here we go. Oh, only a five. That's a five, yeah. Uh, the, the axe swings around um, more than a couple of the guard uh, have their legs severed, their arms cut, uh, there's some fingers. Oh, um, you're also going to hit both the alchemist and the occultist. Uh-oh. Uh, doing a slash of heart, uh, slash of damage to both of them. That leaves the occultist with one heart left and the alchemist with one and a half. Uh, however, uh, in the fray, you're also going to take some damage. Uh, you're going to take... Uh, damage or shock to your muscles and guts okay so i want to try to resist that right we can do that you can uh just tell tell me narratively how do you how do you resist what what's happening uh to, to hurt you is uh you know these guys are just like dog piling on you and even though you're hacking them to bits some of their attacks make it through yeah um I imagine that I see a lot of jelly all over me, uh, you know, from other people. Um, raspberry jelly to That's pee. That's right. You're to the pyro from tea. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much jelly, and it just tastes yummy that sometimes I like to roll around in it. So as this is happening, I like just start rolling around, which I feel like makes it harder for them to hit me, but this is me playfully like yay and all of this wonderful um raspberry jelly okay uh <laughs> what action do you think fits with it um well this one is um da, 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 da. i don't know how there's no like playful I, I need something to make him a you know a little bit of an idiot um <laughs> I mean, to me, it sounds like maybe a finesse, uh, maybe, maybe a trick. Okay, fine. We'll, we will trick around. There we go. I got my, my one in there, so we will see what happens. A five. Nice. Uh, you'll take two stress, and you will only take shock to your guts. Okay, so two stress and a guts. All right. You oh, do, do my... Oh, I thought that, that was resist. Oh, that was your resist? Oh. Yeah, gotcha. that was a resist. My um, also, my, my, my little minions are there, too. That's right. Did you want your minions to do anything? Uh, yes. I just would like them to go up while in this, like, horde of what's going on. And they are essentially going to, um, brick the... the the guards by basically standing behind them and letting them be tripped over. That's how I imagine. Like, they're like getting over there and they just kind of like hunker down through all of this and um, trying to get them to trip over them in, in the melee of everything. Uh, that would have been a great way to assist. Oh, uh, I just didn't think my little guy could assist me. Uh, sure okay. They're, they're just like characters. Um, Maybe, um, I mean, if you want them to do maybe something more direct, uh, they could do that. Uh, or okay. if we want to go with the assist, I'll say uh, two more guards get hacked to pieces. Let's just do that then. Okay. Okay. Uh, that means there are only adventurers left uh, on the uh, on the factory side. Uh, let's cut back over to Team Distraction. Uh so, uh, Polyphilus. 
see, I, I for holy for this. For some reason, I could say it that time. Um, you could, you could just call me Paul. Smoking uh, Paul. The Bridget Paul. <laughs> after um, after your Paul. <laughs> after your your takedown attempt, uh, you find yourself on the ground. Uh, three guards stand over you, looking down. Uh, they raise their spears, ready to stab you, right in the one eye you have. I'm going to do a um, uh, peck into Eddie's spin kick to trip them and then jump on one to start beating the shit out of him. That's, so we're, we're pulling off some some martial arts shit. Absolutely. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. Uh, what action do you think fits? You got this. Smash. Friend. Okay. Uh, don't forget you have a shocking muscle so you'll lose a die. No. Okay, not a problem. Here we go. Uh, before you roll, oh, okay. uh, Tristan, did you want to assist? <laughs> uh, you have a dark heart. Did you want to use that? Um, any dark bargains? Do you want to use your any mm. abilities? There's there's a lot of things you can do to modify that. One. He's fighting guards, right? He's fighting three guards. Yes. Yeah. Can we have like a martial arts scene where we're all back to back fighting. I mean, I'd like to assist by using my bolus. Uh, so you're throwing your bolus from back here across the, the chasm you just opened. Yep, that's about all I can okay. do from back here. Where I can go, you got this, rah rah rah. Uh, okay, that will open you to consequences, Tristan. Uh, but yep. But uh, I'll accept it. That'll give you additional effect. Uh, anything else you want to use? Uh, pull? No. Violence. <laughs> just, Do this. Just straight violence. All right. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, or, 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 oh, no. Um, oh, yeah. I'm getting fucked, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's certainly true. The, the, Bolo, you throw Tristan. Your your, your shaky hand uh, is a, a bit shaky. Uh, the bolo goes wide, uh, mm -hmm. and one of the guards looks up at you and tosses a spear. It's going to land right in your fucking chest. Uh, uh -oh. Lithalus, um you get stabbed by the other two. Uh, you are going to take shock to your brains and guts, uh, making you bloody. Um, Tristan, uh, you can are I gonna... resist? You can. Uh, let me just finish uh, oh, with the uh, consequence. Yeah, uh, Tristan, you take a spear to the chest. Yeah, I can't resist. No. Uh, oh, why can't you resist? I'm at five out of six. If I resist, oh, I go feral. In so Indeed. Uh, well, you're going to take shock to your muscles and guts. Oh, I, I uh, need those. So, so Polyphilus, uh, you want to resist? I'm going to resist by knocking the blades off course. Okay. Uh, somehow with your arms, I guess? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It, it, I'm incredibly dexterous. My fingers are so light to touch that uh, some people don't even know, you know, They've been touched. that I'm there in the first place. I, you know, they feel untouched after me, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see the uh, let's see the roll. All right, here we go. Hey, that's two stress. And uh, you will only take shock to your guts. Ooh. Uh, means you are not bloodied. Um, Tristan, did I... Okay, yeah, you said you didn't want to resist. No, no, I don't. That's not that I don't want to. I can't. No, you, you could. You just have to roll a six or better. No, because I rolled a six last time and that gave me one stress. No, you rolled a five last time. Uh, no, I rolled a six, Garrett. That, that six yeah. and a two was on my tinker to resist. And you yeah. said one stress. Yeah, yeah. sorry, that is one stress. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's right. You'd have to roll a crit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Why would you lie to me? It's like that. <laughs> He wants the mission to fail. Uh, so now we zoom in on the one-on-one the -on -one fight between Furlick and Fang. Uh, 
you guys are like circling each other. All the guards are distracted by by the other two. It's just you, Furlick, and the aristocrat. Um, the aristocrat keeps making like little cooking, like stabbing, probing strikes at you. Uh, you parry them easily. Um, he's gonna use one of his final move. He's gonna attempt to disarm you. And the way moves work is it's going to disarm you. Oh. Uh, but you, you know, you can do something. Uh, your weapon clatters to the side as his, uh, you know, complicated fencer's strike uh, causes you to drop it. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, while his, like, ar arm is outreach, like, trying to, like, stab me, I want to, like, sidestep it and grab his wrist. Okay. I mean, what uh, what's your intention here? Are you gonna like bite him in the face? Like, what's what's going? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat him. Uh, yeah, take a bite out of his like, neck. What, what's the whole scene? Yeah. Okay, like, like after I grab him, I'll, like pull him in and just like bite his neck off. Okay, going for the the neck bite. Uh, what action do you think goes with that? And before you roll, you can. Potentially get an assist from, you know, your friends. Hey, I, I do have a dark heart. Or you can use a dark heart, yeah. Or you can take a dark heart. I'll use the dark heart. Actually, while you guys are thinking about that, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. No, not allowed. My cat's bugging me because I, <laughs> I, I need to give her some. I'll I'm be just, right. just giving you shit here. So, how's everybody doing? I'm dying over here. How's everybody's Friday? Going well. Great. Good. I used uh, ChatGPT to um, write a stellar recommendation for one of my coworkers to get an award, but I didn't know what to write, so I made ChatGPT write it. <laughs> Dude, I love getting ChatGPT to do my work. It's the beautiful thing. <laughs> I freaking love it so much. <laughs> I do too. I'm obsessed with it. I just play with it. It's like a toy. I, it's like this weird Rubik's Cube I can't put down. I just sit there and ask ChatGPT the craziest shit, like logic puzzles. Like, I don't know. I'm always like, I wonder what ChatGPT would think of this. Like, I wonder if it'll freak out if I do this. Like, yeah, I've, I've had to write letters for me. I I just, yeah, I have. I actually had a friend who was, like, applying to a job, and she, her resume wasn't, like, great. And I was like, hmm, chat GPT, tell me how to make this better. Dude, so do this. Just say, GPT, oh, just say, uh, please format the following for clarity and grammar. And it'll fucking, and then paste in the paragraph, and it will fix it and rewrite it for you. It's great. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. And I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, for like, I, I think you were, oh, it looks like you rolled something. I got a five. He smashed. Oh, and you I are smashed. going for the neck. Uh, you go for the neck. Uh, you grab his wrist, pull him in, and bite down. Uh, it's only at that moment you realize that it was all Bruce. He's got a dagger in your ribs. Aw, oh, man. Uh oh. Shock uh, muscles. Yeah, I was gonna say, actually, it's a little Good more drink. than that. It's gonna be shock uh, muscles and guts. Uh, uh, lovely. Would you like to resist? Yeah, 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 and no, I would. Uh, narratively, what, what do you do? Um... Uh, 
I'm gonna like. I guess I'm gonna try to sidestep it. Okay. Uh, using a deft sidestep with your teeth in his neck. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I think that'd be fun action. Enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the roll. Oh, holy shit! Hey. Uh, so that one stress. And uh, you take no shock. Uh, you did a slash of damage to the aristocrat, leaving him with one heart. I have a lot of health. And they only have two hearts, guys. The dragon has seven. Uh, but it's... I thought I'd done 1.5 to this. No, he had 1.5 left. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got one left right now. Uh, he is also out of moves, though, which... Uh, Weakens him significantly. Um, let's cut back over to Team Drill. Uh, Sportimer, you open. We're the... stuck together. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Lord Sportimer, rope. Uh, the uh, the um, heavy door to the to the vault swings open, and behind you see just piles, piles and piles, of glittering silver, copper, and a, and some gold in there too. This is the mother load. This is all the candy money that uh, the Brady Bunch has been collecting. Fucking collecting. candy, that dirty candy money. It's not, it's not, doesn't smell sweet like blood money. It smells filthy like candy money. Too sweet. Uh, it's at this point. Uh, you know what? No, it's not at this point. I'll save that point for later. Uh,. What do you guys want to do? Start loading up the money. Uh, are we still stuck? Uh, you are, Rope. Um, I have my hand. Corn is not. Uh, Corn, you have to touch something to, to, but the first thing you touch will, you'll be. Well, stuck. I'm gonna shove my hands in the money, obviously. You, you, your hands are now covered in money. Um, you cannot wield weapons or cast spells. Oh no, guys. I can cast well, spells inside I'm, the good kind. I'm gonna use my blink boots to teleport into the vault. Uh, I, am, I am disorientated. Okay. Did did we settle on? Can you determine uh, where you go? We did last time. We just did a like a fortune roll, and we decided that six means I go exactly where I want. Like you know, a failure means I don't go anywhere where I want, and a partial means where I go somewhat where I want. Okay, so your intention is the vault. Let's see the fortune roll, and that would be three decimals uh, yeah, from you. Yeah. Nice three. So somewhat where I want. Somewhat where you want. Um. You disappear from uh, the front of the vault and appear right in the back. Uh, there's a set of heavy chests here. That these chests are, are also full of, of, of coin. However, your your shoes are still kind of sticky. Uh, while you are not fully stuck to the floor, you will find it very difficult to move. Goddamn goo bombs. Uh, let's cut over to Bumble. Bumble, you are facing down two heroes. Yes. Uh, they both look at you, and uh, one of them, uh, the alchemist, uh, is going to use a offensive move. He's going to use his rapid mixing. And before you know it, uh, he has a potion in his hand, which he tosses at you. Uh, as it lands on the ground in front of you, it bursts into uh, this kind of sweet-smelling smoke, uh, and you start to feel real dizzy. Uh, what do you want to do? Oh no! Um, I am going to. Let me see here. Pull out my sack of endless coal, which sometimes has toys and sometimes has other things in it, and I'm just going to um, 
pull it out and uh, just start chucking anything that I can pull out of it at him. Uh, give me or a is this? A... Yeah. What? What? What's your intention? Like, uh, your action is like a whole scene. It's like a whole. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Like, I feel like you have to be concentrated on like you know this spell that he's doing to me. So I'm trying to like pull these things out and throw he, it at his head. He, he done already done it to you. Uh, that's oh, he's already done it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're feeling real dizzy. Um, and what I'll tell you is mechanically it's going to make everything harder. Like less effective. Gotcha. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking. I mean, chopping them in the face is is probably a good news. Okay. Uh, anything yes. that can hurt them is probably good news. I didn't know how close he was. I'm sorry. I think I was, like, imagining. Yeah. So these guys are, um, you know, they're not, like, right within your axis range, but uh, they are fairly close. Oh, wait. Your axis is a little busted right now. Yes, my axe is busted. But my very large pair of pliers is not. And um, no. it is a very blunt object that is going to be swung at its head right now with smash. So okay, just that's... gonna smash him with the pliers. Okay. <laughs> They're very large pair of pliers. Uh, like... And uh, who, who are you attacking? Or are you going to battle master and attack them? I am, do not have any more um, stress to use, or I will be going feral. So I will pick one, and I will go after the occult slayer. To try to hit his head. Okay, it's going straight for the occult slayer. And um, finally, get my six of the night. Woo! Yeah, yeah. See, you were getting, you're getting a little complacent with your triples. Uh, I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So you bring that very large pair of pliers down upon the occult uh, slayer's head. Uh, uh, that's gonna slash one of its hearts. Uh, he has half a heart left. Mm. Uh, let's see. Um, but I'm dizzy. You're, uh, yeah, you're very dizzy. That's why I uh, didn't do two slashes. Uh, and um, let's see. That uh, well, he doesn't hurt you, so that's good. Uh, let's cut over to Schwartimer. Uh You are inside the vault, filling up uh, like bags. I guess you have some bags. Just fill them up with coins. Yep. Uh, like, you, you've loaded up as much as you could possibly carry. Uh, are you going to try to park those back to, to the cart? Like, what, what's happening after yeah. After you, you've got yeah. your fill? Just running back and forth, getting cash. And I pocket some of them, too. Okay. Uh, so, uh, there's uh, still two active uh, adventurers out there, so there is still some risk. Uh, what action do you think... Uh, Probably, oh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to get killed by the guy. So skulk. Want to skulk? Okay. Yeah, I just want to steal money. I'm very greedy. Got it. Uh, again, dark hearts. Assist. I got a dark heart. I'll spend it. Okay. Uh, does anybody want to assist? Uh, if you, you know, the 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 more effective you are here, the more of this stuff you'll be able to to move in this single action. So does assist increase his effect? That's right. Well, I will assist. I'll. I mean, I okay, still got okay. shit on my shoes, but I guess I can like rake money into his bag. Okay. Uh, it will. It will open you to any consequence uh, that that he faces. Okay. Does that increase my effect, or it would increase yeah, your so effect? Yeah. Take more money. Yeah. Got a six. Oh damn! Thank God. All of the loose coin on the floor, you guys are able to gather up into these bags and uh, rope, even though you're very slow. Uh, you're able to to make it back to the uh, to the drill. I feel like I have coins sticking to the bottom of my boots now, and the yeah, going yeah. <laughs> fear like, as I get all these coins stuck to the fucking yeah. goo. Yeah. Shoes, it's easier I'm and easier to move. Yeah, for now, sure. yeah. now I'm like tap dancing, like tickety tackety tap 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 tappity tappity tick tap tap. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. I'm thinking I might get some fucking tap fucking shit installed on my shadow boots. Uh, also. Um, so you, you guys are able to get all the, the, the free coin 
moved into the uh, into the drill. Uh, there are still the chests, uh, and with that, we'll cut back to team distraction. Um, mm -hmm. Let's just focus down on uh, the the final battle here. Uh, the aristocrat uh, is basically by himself now, but he is, you know. Uh, focused on you for like uh, he says you'll never leave here alive werewolf we, no, 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 I can't no, 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 <laughs> who what what's a werewolf the racist. yep he's very racist he's all monsters looks the same he's sci-phobic dude he's he's totally misspecie in you uh, and he knows it too. He knows it too. He's doing it on purpose. So, so for like you, you have no weapon. He still has his rapier and a dagger, uh, and and he's advancing on you relentlessly. Uh, what do you do? I'm gonna rush over to pick up my axe. What a piece of shit that guy. Get him. Actually, uh, what was that, Danny? You there, Danny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? You hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear you. No, no, I'm thinking, thinking. Um... I, I am going to try to run away and transform into my beast form. Okay. Um, all right. So when you become a beast, it's going to cost you some stress. It'll be one stress. Okay. Uh, what What is your beast form? It, it, and if you say wolf, I, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually that's what I'm expecting. Dire. Uh, wolf, I, I, I'm a werebear. <laughs> werebear. Get I'm a werebear. Wrecked. But but in your werebear uh, form, imagine. you act you actually only have one eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you get it. <laughs> Uh, so that'll cost you one stress. Uh, let's see. Uh, while in this form, one of your actions ratings swaps with another. So which one do you want to swap? Um, okay. Smash is already at two. I think I would want to swap uh, Invoke and Finesse. Okay. So finesse would go up to three temporarily. Three. Yeah, yeah, temporarily at three. Uh, and then, um, uh, oh, you gain another uh, dark impulse. So. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's where I, I'm paranoid about people figuring out that I'm the wear bear. Okay. <laughs> I'm very I'm very self conscious about it. This is like nobody does a wear bear. Nobody knows. No, but there's no way. Uh, Tristan Don't. in the back with no pants says, I mean, the wear bear. The bear is wearing. I mean, is the bear, is, is he bear? Is he left bear the wear bear or is he wearing something other than bear? Every here, here, aware, there, aware, everywhere, aware, bear. Uh, it's just like when you're dealing with witches and you're like, which witch is which witch, right? I mean, I come on, I can't get, I can't. Okay. Uh, as yeah. you turn into the wear bear, uh, the uh, it's the bear wear bear. Yeah, the aristocrat is going to to, to attack, uh, stabbing at you, attempting to blind you in your one eye. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'm gonna blind him first. To pocket sand. I'm gonna use my claws. I'm gonna scoop up a bunch of sand and throw it at right at his face. Okay. What action? I think that'd be a finesse. All right. Uh, you want to use any hearts or bargains? Uh, or you no. just ro roll a crit? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I, I keep on forgetting I can't right click to cancel. <laughs> uh, I'm not ignoring you, I swear. I'm just really stupid. No worries. Don't uh, be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> um, with that crit, um, your claws rip into his face, uh, blinding him in both of his stupid human eyes, uh, and dealing two slashes. He fucking dies. Cool this Bye. bitch. <laughs> uh, you look around for like uh, in your werebear form. Uh, you see Polyphallus kind of standing up, holding you know a bleeding wound. Uh, 
Tristan's on the other side, completely unharmed. Or, oh, sorry, no, no, also harmed. He's got a <laughs> I'm dying spear here. sticking out of his chest. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get that right. Uh, but but all the guards and and all the adventurers are are, are dead. Uh, I am going to hide and turn back into my normal form. Uh, let's see. Uh, suspicious. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tristan, uh, Polyphilus, did you see him turn into a werebear with one yes, eye? Yes, but I respect his decision not to mention it. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. who am I? As long as he doesn't mention about my dick or the lack thereof. I was going to say, if he's not talking about your penis, then he's definitely not changing talking about the werebear. He's like, right. Right. Look at it. All, he, all he's thinking is, does the bear have a dick? Like, <laughs> does the bear have a dick? Um, and uh, as you guys stand here with, with all the guards and the adventurers dead, you can see across the uh, fallen bridge on the other side, uh, it looks like a lot of smoke is rising from that candy factory. Um, and you hear the clashes and sounds of, of battle still going on. Uh, we're going to cut back to Team Drill. Um, Bumble, uh, I hate to say this, but it's on you now. Oh my goodness. No pressure. It's no all pressure. on me. Uh, no the, pressure. Uh, the occultist is going to, uh, or sorry, the occult slayer is going to use his, uh, his second uh, move here. Um, he is going to use Heartseeker. Uh oh. Uh, he reaches down into his belt and throws three daggers at you. Uh, they seem to be magical daggers, and they are aimed directly at your chest. Uh, you know if these hit you, it ain't good, man. It's probably gonna kill you. Who are you talking to? I do have Humble. my um, unpierceable shield. I was gonna say you have that shield. I was about to say you got that badass shield. I'm I'm just saying. I so you know you can you can use that if you want. I am going to use that and um man I'd like Rudy and Comet to like help help out here. Um like while he's focused on throwing this and I'm like you know have my unpierceable shield out. But, you know, he, he's focused on throwing it at me. Um, I would love for them to uh, run around and tie his shoelaces together so that when he takes up his feet, he falls down and hits his head and hopefully dies because he's already wounded. That, that's my goal. Uh, okay. Uh, with that goal in mind, uh, uh, six or better will we'll accomplish it. All right. We'll see if they can trick tie his shoes. Good luck. Little little ones, you got this. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. oh Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! Bumble, you're the luckiest. She's back. Okay. She's back. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Let luck be a lady tonight. This game is rigged. <laughs> the, yes. The occult slayer tries to throw his three heart-seeking daggers. Uh, one of them, however, doesn't leave his hand, and when he trips and falls, it goes right through his eye. He's dead. <laughs> he dead. Yeah. I mean, he learned uh, a valuable lesson there. I'm gonna look for loot while they're killing them. <laughs> uh, so, corn um, in inside the, uh, this vault, there are three very large chests that are all full of silver, and gold, and, and copper. Uh, they are really heavy. You try to like pick one up. Uh, it, you can't really carry it by yourself, especially with your hands covered in coin. Can I start like punching things to try to get the coins off my hands? Uh, you can try to remove the coins from your hands, sure. Uh, that that might just take take your turn uh, to just get them off. Um, Has anybody ever read the Fallen uh, Malazan books, the fantasy books? Because there's a guy Rulad that like dies, and they part of the the ritual is to cover the body with coins and wax and. But he gets brought back to life, like immortal in pain, and he has all these coins sealed into his whole body, so he's like covered in coins. It's fucked up. <laughs> Sounds fucked up. Uh, Sorry, I just like all this coin sticking to people just kept reminding me of that. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of coins sticking to people, um, Spoiler, uh, you you know you and Rope have been able to secure all the loose coins up, but you know that the lion's share of of the loot is in them chests. Uh, I assume you're gonna go back and help Horn. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I have both my minions, so they're going to be helping me fucking haul chests. I have three minions, so I would assume that the three of them can fucking haul chests to the drill. Uh, you're, if you help your minions, you can haul one, one chest. Yeah, I have uh, minions too, so they can help. Okay, so, uh, Corn is you're just scraping these, these, uh, coins Damn, off your hand. Damn, shit, stuck uh, on my hand. You see Splortimer and Rope, like, come into the vault, pick, you know, pick up a chest each with their minions and walk out. Uh, there, there is one left. Um. I just punch it. <laughs> I'm just fucking frustrated about these hands. <laughs> they look like such big, strong hands. Hey, couldn't I just, like, light my yeah. hands on fire and melt them off? Hands. They're so golden and strong. Okay, Can I just I light my hands on fire? Grab, I would like to just grab a chest to, uh, to him. He can uh, drag it out with his body weight. At, at this like point... Day, man. At this point, um, the alchemist is going to use uh, his final, or well, mm -hmm. okay, so he's used two. Uh, he's going to use his final uh, move, and he's going to make a door. Uh, the alchemist escapes. Can I attack him before he escapes? I uh, kick him in the balls. You kick know, you, you try, but your your hands are covered in coins. Um, Got him. I think I figured out. I can I just like light my hands on fire and melt the coins off, Garrett? Oh god! I just, like, I'm just like real angry. Um, I mean, you try, but you have to make precise hand movements to cast spells, and so uh, the spell doesn't work properly. A couple of the coins melt off, but not, not all of them. In fact, yeah, well, I guess I'll have to chisel this off when I get home. Yeah, in fact, now you have have uh, molten lead. Uh, no, they're molten. Right? Yeah, mol molten coin gloves. Uh, nice. They're warm. They are warm, and your fingers don't move. Um, you are able to get back into the drill. Uh, Sportimer leaps into the driver's seat and then throws it in reverse, and no, nothing happens. You can't. There is no reverse. I'm well aware of it. I go straight. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you, you head straight forward, um, you drill through most of the, uh, what's it? Uh, bridge. Um, if you keep going straight, it's a, you're going in the water. Okay, flashback. Could we have made the thing watertight again? Uh, it'll cost you two stress. Okay, deal. Okay. Oh, you haven't spent any stress the That's whole battle, right. have you? I spent uh, oh. Okay. Alright, so, uh, your, your drill plunges down into the water, uh, drilling underneath the bedrock, uh, and eventually up next to, uh, what's it, uh, Cole, Furlick, and, and Tristan, um, who all catch a ride all the way back. Uh, yeah, to the crowded city. To yep, wearing a, a loincloth around my nether region. No one must know. Uh, no, no, Too late, naked. we all know. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're naked the whole time. Unfortunately, the, the, them's the break. I don't think you even care. Right? Everyone, everyone has really seen your, your everyone's seen your mound. Yes. Lord Kravis does not require he's not called Lord Extruder, he's called Lord Kravis. As we make it back to the Citadel, uh, we go to Blowback. No. Okay, how well did you guys stick to the plan? Pretty damn good. Ten out of ten. For, for once, for once in our life, we that actually did. One of the best things we've ever done. Like just like. Mm -hmm. We look good as a unit. I got your Agreed. unit right here. Agreed. You know what? I think you're right. Uh, that's three d six. Nice. Plus, I tried to get, I got loot, right, Garrett? So I get one extra one. Uh, so, uh, we're not at loot rolls yet. Um, so, <laughs> I rolled really badly for you. Uh, you suffer minor blowback. Aww. I think he meant that he rolled badly for himself. Wait, uh, if you had rolled a six, what would have happened? 
uh, then you would have all got uh, a dead Oh. Oh well. Yeah, What's he rolled pretty shit. Uh, for a moment. Can't go on the path. I'm, I got my headphones on, but I gotta take my dogs out. Uh, so as you, uh, you know, slip out of sight in the night, uh, the, the plan that, that you guys put together seemed to work quite well. Um, however, there are the sounds of a dragon in the sky. Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> um, in this drill tank, you are very conspicuous. And, uh, you know that the dragon is looking for it. Uh, what do you do? I mean, why are we underground? We're, we have a drill tank. Why are we on the surface? You know, that's I mean, a good... other, other, other yeah, than to cross the bridge, the only thing I can think of is he could catch us on the bridge. But you know, other than a... that, we burrow. It, it's a good question, but with uh, with the four, you're you're on the surface, and maybe well, it's faster that bridge. way. I don't know. Just, maybe it's, it's like we're way slower to like drill and stuff. Well, we're on the bridge because we do want to cross the river without going under it. So that would be us crossing the bridge where the Medusas are, and he could probably catch us on the bridge. Uh, and he is screaming in the sky. Uh, you, you can't see him at the moment, uh, but he's coming. What, what do you want to do? Hmm. Don't know. Can't know what to do. Go underground? Yeah, dive, dive, dive. Uh, dive, okay. Uh, if you dive, uh, one, I think you'll destroy the bridge. Oh, we're over a bridge, gotcha. Uh, yeah, sorry, here, let me, um, let me clarify where you are. Uh, and actually, wait a minute, sorry, no, that doesn't make narrative sense. You're not by the bridge. Uh, yeah, we're, can you leave, front? there's a break on our side of the bridge. Exactly. At least the drill team would have left on that side, I feel like. Oh, well, they picked you guys up. Um, so I'm going to say you're you're kind of right. Oh, sorry, you're on the wrong map. Uh, you're right here. Okay. Uh, and you're like driving your way back and you hear uh, the uh, the dragon calls uh, everybody is inside the drill tank like I said it, it's only got four seats but you know if you squeeze in I mean it. yeah I can I can press down I don't take up that much room guys Rudy um, and Comet are on my lap it's fine <laughs> I, I feel like uh, yeah you guys are definitely uh, crammed in there. Um, it's like a clown car here. Uh, I mean, your 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 drill tank is armored and stuff, so it's probably okay, I guess. Maybe. Uh, so you want to just like keep going? Maybe put the you know pedal to the metal and uh, put the Chevy pedal to the heavy metal, bro. That can be done. Uh, you guys speed up. Uh, maybe disabling the drill and just putting all power to the tracks. Uh, and as you get to the shrouded sizzle, uh, you hear the sound of dragon fire uh, all around your, your drill tank. Uh, the walls heat up, and you just barely make it in. To the shrouded citadel, um, the the drill tank is flaming. 
and as you make it back into uh, your base, um, the drill tank is disabled. Um, you'll have to use a downtime action to fix it, or it's not available. Um, is the vehicle like a like a trap? Does someone own it, or is it is it someone's upkeep thing, or no. is it a, like is it a group upkeep? It's it's collective, yeah. Okay, so nobody's like assigned the vehicle. Yeah. Correct. Uh, but what I'm saying is the the blowback here is right. Like, it's it's busted. We got to fix busted. it. I, yeah. I was just trying to wonder if that was like someone's job or that's all our job. Okay. Okay. Uh, after blowback, we go to lurking, which is where we do the fun loot part. Uh, this was a uh, pillaging raid, so everybody gets extra loot. Uh, everybody roll 3d6, and P, since you specifically picked up extra loot, you can roll 4d6. Uh, so did I. Yeah, we got chests, and we brought minions, we and we also did. I ran straight for the vault and had minions haul and chests, dude. I think that anyone that got a chest should get the extra loot. What does everybody else think about that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm fine. I I was a bag of bones, so I extra deserve my extra loot. no extra loot. Uh, the reason I singled out peas is he asked specifically. I so. Uh, that, that's true. I thought I thought we were making it clear when, like, remember? Yeah, Ben. Ben said, "I'm greedy." He jumped out immediately and said, "I'm greedy," and ran to the vault even before I did. I was trying said, to find. All I, he said, "All I care about is the money," so I'm pretty sure I would give it to him. And then I brought my minions just for the reason to, to haul loot, so I would think I get it as well. Because that's why I thought, you know, instead of raking coins, I had three minions fucking hiking out fucking chest loads. Here, I know how to I know how to resolve this. Uh what's it? Uh jar, bin, you guys can have forty six, uh Mr. P's, you can go with five minutes, please. Oh, I like it. Double sixes, baby. <laughs> I feel like I might have found a book to help us uh concoct this uh um thing. So uh let's see. Uh fractal hunter Pete, you rolled Double sixes. No, I rolled two G sixes. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, so just starting uh, in order of the rolls. Uh, pole. 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 Uh, you gain one gold, or you can uh, gain morale for your minions. I'll gain morale for my minions. I actually got a roll, though. So I'm going to have to dip. Oh, no worries. Um, so let's just quickly do your XP. Uh, I'll just take one and call it Christmas. Um, one, there you okay. Go. And then do you have any downtime actions you'd like to work on? Um, they can spend mine on something built. I gotta roll. I'll catch you guys later. Yep. Okay. Later. Hi, Jay. Hi. Hey, Thank you, Jay. Thanks for coming in. Uh, let's go to Bumble. Uh, Bumble, yes. you can gain one gold or get morale for your men. Um, so I already have three gold. Can I go up to essentially the four to be using it for to an extra downtime action? Oh, sorry. Action? When, uh, when I say morale for your minions, I mean morale or dark heart. Oh, uh, oh. Using your revelry. Oh, I want a dark heart. Okay. Uh, what's your revelry and how do you how do you do it? My revelry is eating Christmas cookies. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand what the revelry does again. I'm sorry. Uh, it gives you a dark heart. It makes your or, minions happy. Or it gives uh, morale to your minions. It's it's uh -huh. either or. Yes. Dark heart sure. or minions. Dark heart. Because there's a phase, Bumble, there's a phase in the dungeon where if your minions aren't happy with you, they like they get shitty and well, you don't get fun of them. Like, no. Uh, so what, mor what mor morale does for your minions is it's, it's like a dark heart for your minions. Gives them an extra D on, on one of their rolls. Yeah, okay. but, but when you check the uh, how happy is it, it's revelry is included in how happy they are. Uh, it's true, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll give them a morale. I won't take the dark heart. 
because I've been taking the dark heart recently for me. So I'll, I'll share the wealth with my Rudy and Comet, I guess. Because okay. they did they did trip up that guy and kill him. So he, they did do pretty good there. So you're just handing out cookies. Uh, yeah. I am. Yeah, they, they love the cookies. I mean, they're... And uh, since we started this with, with Polly, let's just do everything. Uh, let's do your XP. Okay. Um, my XP... Wait, hold on. So, um, is that the, oh, the Wicked XP made pro progress right. on our master plan? Nope. Nope. Jumped in the scene? Nope. Uh, I mean, I use my gear supply in creative ways. Maybe? No? I would say nothing that you haven't done before. That is very true. I feel like I all I acted like a monster. I bathed in their blood. That's Which again is monster. something you haven't done before. Fine. You, you gotta break the mold, sweetie. I hear ya. It's fine. All right. Uh, and then downtime actions or? Yep, you get one. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I want to tinker on. Oh wait, wait. The cure of the candy charm is not tinker. Right, that's. Is there? There's another one that needs to be tinkered. Uh, so, that we're upgrading. The candy charm can be whatever you want. It's it's a ritual that um I can't remember who. Made I started it. I started. Or no, yeah, Tristan started. Yeah. Yeah, it's me and Tristan and someone else. But you can't do it because you've been charmed by. Yeah, the... but I, oh, yeah, I've, say, I've I think been you're, charmed. You're yeah. probably not into. Uh, what I can say is there's two things. One, we need the drill fixed, and two, okay. we need. We also we need our uh, headquarters relocated. I would relocate it to that. And what is that room to the north of the drill room? What the and, fuck is and, that? And also to add on to that, your your axe is busted. Oh gosh. Oh, and your axe is busted. So okay. Know, I I would like to tinker to fix my axe. Okay. Uh, if you roll a, I'll tell you what. Um. If you roll a six, it's fixed, and if you don't roll a six, I'll start a clock. Deal. Here we go. Oh my god. Good Bumble job. Get the win, boys. You both. Buy them lotto tickets. Get it while it's hot. Alright, uh, I would. I would like to spend a gold to get an extra downtime action to start working on the fix it, fixing the drill. Okay. Uh, and so. I, I'll give you the same deal on that. It's uh, six and it's fixed, otherwise, I'll start. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Let's tinker away and. Okay. <laughs> you just can't stop me! Uh, you can't stop her, Garrett. You can't stop her. Garrett, <laughs> lay it down, Barry. Garrett, you thought you had her because she was rolling such shit during the fucking actual, you know, fight. She's saving it up. She's saving it for this. She's like, boom. 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 <laughs> Bitch! All right, well, All right. Drill is fixed. Drill's fixed. <laughs> Harvesting axe is fixed. Um, my Stop. minions are happy. I mean, life is good. I'm good. I, yeah, you All are right. Good, good night. Well, well done. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's go to uh, John. Uh, so, uh, Tristan, you uh, roll a five. So, one gold or a dark heart? Or... I'll, I'll morale the fuckers this time. Yep. Okay. Against uh, my better judgment or some shit, you know. <laughs> All right, XP. I think I only got one. Okay. Uh, I did give you a dark heart during the game because you were being very crevicey, running yes. away and all that. Yes, okay. I was. And, uh, and then finally, uh, you have one downtime. Yeah. La Mound and Le Crevasse. Yes, uh, I'm going to try to tinker the cure for the candy. Okie dokie, that completes the clock. Yep. Glad I don't even have to roll on that one. Um, nope. uh, the candy charm, uh, give me a little narrative. How does the uh, ritual end and what happens when... Rope's just doing his Tai Chi something. fucking shadow dance around the circle like there's and his little shadows are probably beating like hippie drums while he's doing it as it gets faster and faster and faster while Tristan's like you know, intoning things, 
I've got like my three guys like sat around the circle where they are like like beating on bongos while I'm like doing some weird shit. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. So I, I also have a cauldron that, you know, uh, Lord Crevice is blessed. And the cauldron bubbles. Yes. Yeah, and the cauldron's yes. bubbling. I'm dancing around the bubbling cauldron. It does look very sinister, and at the end of the ritual, a giant skull appears. Ooh, a skull, you say? Yeah, they'll have to drink that uh, that titcher, but, you know, it'll cure them. Don't know what side effects there are, but it'll <laughs> cure them. It'll cure what ails you. Yeah, and then some. So everybody who has been cursed by the candy, uh, all of a sudden, you realize, wait a second, <laughs> those fucking gnomes. Those rat bastards. They've been mind-controlling you with their stupid candy. Been saying the it all whole time. time. <laughs> they aren't elves, what the fuck? <laughs> I like candy. No, no I don't. What? Not as good as cookies. Exactly. Not as crunchy or, as cookies. Or, or, or pain canes. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's go to Mr. Pease. Yes. Mr. Pease, you rolled a six, which gives you. I rolled month. two sixes. Uh, so, Barrett, before you do, Pease, mm -hmm. I'm not sure this is correct, but for people that wanted to get extra loot, I believe uh, on a pillage raid, if you expressly go after loot, I think you get one extra gold. I'm not sure about that, but I am like kind of like seventy percent certain about that. No, no, no. You get you get an extra loot back. That's why he got uh, extra loot back. Actually, oh sorry, uh, Pease, you didn't get a six. Uh, you got a fucking crit. He did say he I did. Crit. I kept saying that. I I did say it. Thank you for backing me up there. Yep. Uh, so. You get a powerful item. Ooh. Uh, it is my choice. So I think I I'm owed an item. Well, uh, you should, like I said, if you say uh, if you delay your item choice, and don't tell me when that shit just fucking disappears. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm owed one no, too. On crate, you have to choose the item. No, uh, yeah, and I'm I'm choosing the item right now for this crit. Uh, Hey, I gotta go, gotta go walk the pups, but I had fun tonight, y'all. Yeah, good night. Right. Yeah, it was fun. Thank good you, night. guys. Thanks, gang. Uh, Garrett, for me, with a five, can I just take a dark heart and call that a day? Isn't that what a five grants me, either dark heart or reverly? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that just to save everybody some time. Because I only, this is my second dark heart I've ever had in my whole life, and I feel really proud to have two dark hearts because I've always been dark heart starved. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, what you get, Mr. Peace, is the Coven Sworn Tome. Uh, this allows you to cast a predetermined tier one, two, or three spell, but each time you cast it, it costs more. Uh, so it'll cost stress to cast the spell, but it's just automatically successful. So uh, every time you use it, it'll cost more and more stress. But uh, starting out, you can choose the spell uh, that you would like to uh, lock into your your tome. Um, I kind of like. I kind of think. I'd want like a like a giant uh, flame or like a I'd like to because I'd want to I would want to use my teleport spell more like going into the flames. So I guess I'd want to do I'd want a magical item that would like incorporate that. So, um, so can the, I say you want flame walker to be in the tome? Um. No, I want to be able to, like, start a fire. So I think I want to have, like, a fireball. Like, a pen that shoots fireballs out of. Like, kind of like a Roman candle. You want a tiny little bazooka. Uh, okay, so uh, fireball is a tier 3 spell. Uh, that's an enormous fireball. Arcs across the sky. And into whatever you like. Uh... 
It will cost more and more stress every time you use it, but it will be automatically successful. It'll start with free stress. Eh, that's fine. Uh, don't forget, that shit is automatically successful. That's, that's really, perfect. That's... Yeah, that's really where the power is. Uh, so. Yeah, but it's automatically, so it's going to get, at some point you're going to just fucking raise yourself right out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, uh, after you use it a few times, it will, will probably, yeah, probably immediately turn you feral. Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't even fucking do it. But uh, but it but is it's a really good powerful. Get out of jail yeah. free card yeah. twice. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we go to uh, Splort, Mister Splorty, the Lord Splortimer. Or wait, right. oh, he, sorry. He skipped his downtime. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Let me take, yeah. take that back. Uh, fractal. So, XP first. Okay, so I think maybe two. Because, um, one, you know, just for showing up and being perfect. And two would be because I u successfully used my flame to, uh, stop the, those, those, uh, what was it? Th what were those things he was throwing? The, the vials of, like, Molotovs. Yeah, the Molotovs. Save the day. Uh, I'll give you one. Okay, fine. I tried. I mean, it's not like I didn't die and had to reset my character, you know. Um, so... Again, correct. I guess <laughs> my, my downtime action, um... We need a hidden door. For the entrance? Yeah. Okay, is, that, is there a project started? No. Okay, I'd like to redesign the entrance to the lair. Uh, give me some details. What do you mean? Um, so what does the surrounding area like look like? I forget. Like, uh, we've it... got we've got like brambles growing over the entrance to the lair. Brambles? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, like thorny plant. I think we should. Update that to concertina plants. Yeah. No. What could we? What would we think would be better? Uh, I will point out that. that What's better um, than concertina the, plants? The, the I'm talking about razor wire plants, peas. Uh, uh, the, the entrance is is really kind of just cosmetic. Um, I think what um, John was trying to indicate is there's a new entrance to. Like the, the, the layer sanctum the itself. Sanctum. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you talking? Build a hidden door. Oh, he wrote a little thing right there. Or, or you could. Move, I mean, I was gonna use mine. Like we could. I think we move the sanctum to the where the workshop is. And I think that's a build action. I, I don't know if it's a single, mm -hmm. or a clock or what. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure, but I say we move it to the workshop. It's one action to move the, the sanctum. Yeah, it's not going to kill us to fucking... I mean, you can set up... You probably should put a trap in that new doorway and then I'll move the sanctum, and that way, right, they'll still hit a trap. Yeah, exactly, going through that. All right, so let's... Thing. um. Can we make a copy of our magic door we have over here? Or do you want... Or did we decide... Do you guys want... Did you decide on a different type of door? Uh, so that uh, door over there is a... Hit people is, when they touch it, just for fun. I think it's just hilarious, like a buzzer, like a handshake sure. buzzer. No, 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 like, it. like, like operation, or yeah, so like a. So mechanically, the the door over there, the one you ping piece. Yeah. That's a tier three lock. Uh, so it would be a tier three clock to build one, uh, on the other side. Okay, fine. I want to build a door that when you touch it, it kind of electrocutes you a little bit. That's what I'm saying. A buzzer, a happy buzzer. You can build yeah. a tier one in one turn, right? And then we can upgrade it as we go. Correct, Barrett? Uh, correct. All right, let's so do that. You can, you can build a tier one now, and then we can put in clock. We can upgrade it later. But right now, it's a gaping open fucking walk right through. Okay. Uh, so I will uh, mark that as. Or not yeah, that, sorry, that, that's the, the hand buzzer. That's tier one hand buzzer. It's gonna shock people that fucking touch so, it. So sorry, lock or trap? 
because uh, traps don't stop people from moving forward. Locks can. I thought we were, there was a door, so we're putting a lock there. Right. Uh, yeah, well, you see, there or you either lock it or you trap it. Like they're two different things. So which which one do you want? I mean, Use a lock or a trap? Wanna, yeah. I want a lock. Yeah, a lock's probably good because it might bounce guys. It'll bounce the adventures, the weather. Otherwise, they'll just go right. Through. I mean, they might hit it, but they'll still walk through, which is not really what we want. We want them to go south. Okay, lock so, that shit. Uh, you can add a tier one lock, and it's just built. Uh, all right, moving on. Let's go to Ben. Ben, you rolled a. Uh, well, dude, I was so I was next. I already did my thing, but I was gonna say downtime move sanctum. Uh, I don't think you were next. Ben is next. After Fractal Hunter, I'm next, right? Look up. Fractal Hunter rolled. Yeah, Ben rolled. I... Oh, I gotta roll. No, 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 no. That, on mine, I'm right after Fractal Hunter on my screen. Right. Don't I have to roll for the door now? No, you do not. Okay, perfect. Can I get one run? right after? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right, Char. I'll be like, oh, you're right no, look. Yeah, no, you're look, right after I mean, Ben. Yeah. yeah, skip it again. There, I was looking at there's Fractal Hunter again, so he rolled twice. That's why I was. He, he added an extra die to his four. Yeah, I got it. I was confused. Yeah. I just I was seeing the second one. Uh, okay, so Ben, Ben, are you awake, Ben? Yeah. Sporty. Good old sports. Uh, so, uh, heb to your loot roll. Uh, oh, you. Going for the two gold. Yeah, I will take the gold. Okay. Uh, and you have XP. Okay. So we got one for the. Wait, no, we didn't. You, you uh, gotta ar uh, you gotta argue for back. every XP you get, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I got it. I can't think about it. I'm really tired. Uh, I'm okay with zero, but take one for pity. Uh, let's see, and then you have a downtime action. Uh, I want to make it the top. Okay, what do you want to make? Uh... No, I'm too tired to think of this right now. Uh, <laughs> um, let's just build a let's like build a trap or something, like a like a like a spike trap in the long haul. Uh, or no, um, can I move the sanctum? Uh, you can't. Where do you want to put it? Uh, let's put it in the in the in the garage. In the garage. Okay. For now. All right. Sanctum has been moved. Uh, uh, let's go to. I would like to spend a gold for that. Oh, okay. Spend a gold for what? Um, you know what? Let's let let. No, no, leave that. We need these ability. We will make a concoction. Oh. I'd like. I'm to gonna bounce you guys. Potion. Later. Nice easy piece. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with these. I'll be. I should be able to play next week too. Sweet. So the way potions work, or concoctions work, is they have to have an upside and a downside, right? Correct. Alright, so it, 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 it's a potion that makes you invisible, but very loud when you walk. <laughs> okay. Every time uh, you take a step, it sounds like a duck. Okay, quack, so quack, 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 quack. that's gonna be a tier two. Additional action for free. Up oh, to do another one if you like. Yeah, to yeah. do another one if I want. Uh, I want to make the same. Uh, I want a second one of those before I have another one. Actually, that's not true. I, I want. I want a bunch of different potions. Let's let's get crazy. Um, I would like a potion that. Uh, I would like a potion that gives you. Oh yeah, this is three easy. Let's say let's let's say a potion uh, that makes your skin uh, like rock hard. 
Like, but it makes you immobile. Uh, so you can't move, uh, but you're, you've got rock hard skin. Yeah, uh, that's another tier two. Okay. But only because that, that, uh, <laughs> downside is pretty hard. Oh wow, you get three of them. Oh wait, time out, and I get an additional potion of Inden. Uh, because of the success? Nope, because of I have an, my ability says whenever I uh, make, whenever I gain one, I make a, a brew, I get an extra dose. Oh, all right. Well, then you should have two invisibilities and uh, what's it? And four, four of your skin. yeah of your stone skin, but can't move potion. Make sure you're noting those on your character sheet, because I ain't doing it. Uh, Alright, moving on. Finally, we come to Jar. Uh, you rolled a 5 on your loot roll. roll. Yeah, so I took a Dark Heart. I was going to okay. move okay. the Sanctum, but I guess somebody else already moved it. So now I have a yep. downtime mm -hmm. activity I don't know what to do with. You can build a trap. You can build a room. Um, so you can I build have... another hallway. Well, so I have a question. I kind of have, I think, two things that maybe I'll do. So, for improved minion, what does strapped do? Like, can I make my minions just tougher, like more ass beaten? Uh, I can't uh, do companion. Last time I did uh, versatile, which gives them more skills, and I don't care about that. What does strapped do? Take a look at your minions. Um, so, well, what does strapped do? So, uh, let's see. Yes, you can improve your minions, and. Um, there are all of the minion stuff is hidden in Chapter Four Dungeons under Dinzins Minion Upgrade, uh, page one ninety five. See here, this is why I like Foundry because this shit is linked and I can just click on it and tell me what Strapped is. Uh, well, I, I agree. Uh, Strapped. Your minions have one supply side, which they can use to access anything from your supply. So they can use your gear. Right. But there's not an upgrade that makes them just, like, bigger ass-beaten machines like a brute. Like, I don't see anything. Versatile already tried, blah, no, equip, my... Okay, well, then fuck that. Then I'll... Can I upgrade that lock from Tier 1 to Tier 2 that he's just made? Uh, that will start a clock. Uh, so the answer is yes, but it's a clock. Okay, let's just... Let's just lock that bitch up. Okay. Oh god, I'm drawing lock. Do I have to make a roll for that, or is it just something I can do? Uh, you, you do. Um, it's, uh, Tinker. Bam, and that's my third. That gives me an actual dot and tinker. Because that was my slash slash. That was my slash slash dot. That was a zero? Okay, so that's a four. Yeah, alright. Uh, so we start a clock here. And with your four, you get two tickets. Getting down into the dregs, Danny. All the way down. Uh, it's up to you. You got a six on your loot roll. Uh, I'll take the two gold. You're going for two gold? Okay. Two gold. Uh, XP? Uh, I don't think I got any reckless. We made progress on our master plan, did we not? Nah. Nah. Um, I mean, the master plan is building your retirement community. You just looted a, a, a settlement, so, no. Didn't jump in anybody to see I didn't look at the monster. Um, used your gear as a flying creative race, no. No experience, that's fine. Well, um, I, I will say you did morph into your monster form uh, for the first time, so you can take one for being a monster. 
sick. Just keep in mind, like, you don't, you can't just turn into a monster, or sorry, and, use your form yeah. every time and get the XP, but the first yeah, time yeah. you do it, for sure. Um, let's see. Uh... So is that one XP? Yeah, one XP. Okay, and then uh, you have a downtime next. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll upgrade the uh, the poison cookie dispenser. Okay. Uh, to a tier two. That'll start a clock. Uh, yep. One. Oh boy. Uh, that's one tick. Sick. All right. Uh, and I think that it's everybody. Josh, did I? Did you take XP? If you didn't take one XP, Josh, are you still here? Oh, well. I, I think everybody passed out. Yeah. Uh, All right. Sorry, I know it went a, a bit longer than normal. Uh, I will endeavor to not make things take so long. But, uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks for coming, guys. No, it was great. Great. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you next week. And um, and I don't know if you guys know, but when we're done with this, this game, there is going to be a 5e, not campaign, but like, you know, short campaign. Mm -hmm. Where we uh, have to run through this dungeon. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a bad. It's gonna be so cool.